Hello, hello, everybody. We are continuing our wonderful adventure here in the world of Mass Effect 1. Also, kind of funny that there's apparently tips at the bottom of the pause screen. You will earn Paragon or Renegade points throughout the game based on your actions and dialogue choices. But, but, uh, before we go jumping right in, uh, I did decide to jump back a little bit just so I could actually do the dialogue like, oh, I have the charm or intimidation to back you down, blah, thing eventually. Because I just like, I figured, why not? I figured it's more interesting than just, I pay you 150 credits. But yes, other than that, everything should be the same. And uh, we are here in the, uh, the I think the lower wards, I think they're called. Still on the lookout for the mysterious keepers. As well as just any amount of characters to talk to. We're looking for Garrus, I think. Ooh, observe. <laughs> observe, it said. In which I uh, then proceed to not observe. It became a, a codex. And don't you worry. Oh, hey, Med Clinic. Uh, I think Garrus, I think his name is, should be in there. Because we are in this section. So yeah, there is. Go to Med Clinic where we can probably get him. Do things. We can walk around an alleyway. To lower wards. To presidium. To flux. To lower markets. And then rapid transit. So we'll wander around all of this area, go through the alleyway a bit, before hopping around, checking out the market. Just like, go all over. But I guess we can go ahead and head into the, the medic, medical place. Knock, knock. I didn't tell anyone, I swear. That was smart, Doc. Now if Garrus comes around, you stay smart. Keep your mouth shut or we'll... Who are you? Let her go. Back down, assholes, apparently. Bring it on. This is me, Sniper Man. I, uh, for, uh, after the first guy was shot, I thought, oh, I guess things will just uh, be gone normal. <gasps> no. Okay, I guess it's just telling me that I can shoot that. Don't worry, we killed the people. Sorry we interrupted your investigation, Garrus. Perfect timing, Shepard. Gave me a clear shot at that bastard. Good. Nice shot. You took him down clean. Sometimes you get lucky. Dr. Michelle, are you hurt? No, I'm okay. Thanks to you, all of you. We can protect you. those men threatened you. But if you tell us who they work for, we can protect you. They work for Thief. Aha! The bastard we're going after anyway! <laughs> the one I told you about, Shepard. She must be able to link Saren to the Geth. There is no way the Council can ignore this. But Fist has her. Time we paid Fist a visit. This is your show, Shepard. But I want to bring Saren down as much as you do. I'm coming with you. Hmm. Why do you hate Saren so much, might I ask? You're a Turian. Why do you want to bring him down? I couldn't find the proof I needed in my investigation, but I knew what was really going on. Saren is a traitor to the Council and a disgrace. Ah, to the that honor. You made your case. Welcome aboard, Garrus. <laughs> Fist is going to be waiting for us. When we hit him, we better hit him hard. Come along, Garrus. You are my friend. And I am sorry, my human compatriots, but I'm going full alien right now. Maybe swap out Rex? Because I like Garrus. So far, Garrus is top tier. Uh, I'll probably have Garrus on most of the time. And then I'll swap Rex in and out with these guys until we get the other two bibbity bops onto the team. But for now, since this is Rex's mission of bringing down Fist, let's uh, accept a squad. And level up Garrus. Alright. Tactical armor. Decryption. First aid. Turian agent. 
Um, increases accuracy and dibby ops. Hate that the level up is a bit wonky. It's like, aha, you did a thing, and now the buttons go wonky. Hmm. And I would say... Since this unlocks shield boost, you get shield boost. Ah, he does have a helmet. For a moment there, I thought he didn't. Aha. Welcome aboard. Let's go to equipment. Let's see what we have for everybody. Just normal. I forgot. I might have to go back to the Normandy to get my weapons and stuff from the other people. Well, let's see. Okay, this one is horrible damage protection and biotic protection and a bit more shields. Kind of interesting. What about you? So their default is better. Nice to know. Just want to make sure I don't have anything that might do good by you. Hmm. You might like me. Uh, yeah. Mm. I would say being able to shoot three a hundred and two shot damage per second shots is better than two 115 damage per second shots math i am the math man i am the greatest mathematician to ever exist and we're i probably should have saved before i came in here and i will go ahead and save over this I need to make, like, backup worry. Oh, there we go. I want to change the uh, stuff around. His is shotgun. I'm sniper. He's assault rifle. We're all working out. All right, anything else you can tell us? I never properly thanked you for saving me from Fist's thugs, Commander. No problem at all. Happened if you hadn't been there. Happy to help. I'm just glad you weren't hurt. Me too. Now, is there anything you needed? Personal question. You're a doctor. How did you end up here on the Citadel? My parents brought me here when I was young. My father was a medic with the Alliance. I chose to keep the medical tradition alive, but not the military. Fixing up wounded soldiers isn't my idea of fun. Yeah, fair enough. Hello there, loading personality. We just got Garrus. Things are good. But okay. Uh, got any supplies Let I can buy? What you have for sale? Of course. Ah, you're selling a, a thing worth 420000 <laughs> And you're down here? You'd think this would be the kind of thing up there. Armor upgrade. Oh, but I can buy a permanent upgrade. Wait, is this an armor upgrade? Special properties. A prototype upgrade combining... Da -da -da. So maybe it is an upgrade. But this seems is a uh, permanent... So I'm trying to think. Are these like upgrades that I can put in to my armor, or are these permanent, considering the, what it says here, wired into a combat suit? Well, we'll see. Let's go ahead and accept that. Buy that. See what it's like. Experimentation. Armor. First aid interface. It is indeed this kind, but it was only 70, so it's not that bad. But at least I learned... I still don't like that it makes that noise. It makes me feel like I confirmed something. Ah, but now we got Garrus on the team. Now we can go on the lookout for more keepers! Because I'm still gonna do that quest. I hate when the thing comes up, it's just like, hmm, can I talk to somebody or is that just a directional sign? Door to what? To Presidium. I forget. Is Presidium... Like, a, I think Presidium... No, I don't know. Meh. We'll see eventually. Ah, oh, damn it. The guy that was talking about taking the tour that only like 500 people got is gone. Commander Shepard? Excuse me, Commander Shepard! Sure. What do you gotta say? I'm Emily Wong. I'm an investigative journalist working here on the Citadel. 
Could I have a moment of your time? You're an investigative journalist, and yet you're dressed like one of the consorts, ladies. I find that amusing. Sure, why not? What do you need? I've been hunting for evidence of corruption and organized crime on the Citadel, but there are places I can't go. I was hoping you might share anything you find during your own investigation. I can make it worth your time. Investigate. How investigations are linked. How do you know that my investigation is going to uncover anything you need? You wouldn't be investigating if it weren't big. Eh, and she's got a point. Big, it's something I'd like to hear about. Hmm, source of information. How do you know I'm investigating anything here on the Citadel? I'm a good journalist, Commander Shepard. Word gets around. And why me? Is it because I'm human? As I stand between my two alien bodyguards. You got to have access to better sources. Why contact me? Especially out here I'm in the open. I'm using every source I can find, but I think I've got a better shot with you. Ah, so intuition. File. If anyone is going to uncover corruption here, it's the hero of the Skillian Blitz. Well, consider it done. Well, we'll see. No promises. But if I find anything relating to your case, I'll inform you. Thank you, Commander. You won't regret it. I'll take a nice neutral path, depending on how things go. If I feel you are trustworthy, I will uh, consider you a nice ally. All right, so I think we'll go down the alleyway, see if there's anything there, pop out here, mark it, and then depending on if Presidium is interesting, maybe. Mm -hmm. Kind of wish that I could, like, uh, look at an overall map a little bit. But that's also me having bad memory on what things are called in places. This elevator leads up to the Presidium, where you'll find the embassies. Thank you. I do not want to go there just yet. I've already been there. Ah, a keeper. I shall scan you for my friend. Who apparently is acting weird, and I need to talk to him about being creepy to his, uh... Why is there just a wall? Is this... Is this where they put boxes? I figured I'd be jumped, because, you know, alleyway. It is a creepy alleyway. Wait. It... I'm confuzzled. Because that leads down to the lower wards. But the question is, why is it saying that this is a... Or am I off? No, it thinks this is... It says it's a, a full-on through. It, it doesn't say there's a wall. That is, that is quite weird. <laughs> okay. I was going to pass on through there. I thought it would be... Do not shoot the Keeper! <laughs> I, uh, thank you, game, for not punishing me. I pull out my gun randomly in front of people, and they're not like, Oh, God! The hero of the Blitz has snapped! Save us! The game is kind and does not want my head. And what heads up is to Flux. I forget if there's anything in Flux that I want, that I need. Keep an eye out for anything that I can talk to. Hilarious. Now, are you gonna give me a refund or not? We have your protocol. Expat Vela Shopper. No, no, I, I, I don't even listen to him. I'm sorry, we can use this again. I love so far that nobody's called me out on scanning all the keepers. Meanwhile, when one guy decided to go and scan a keeper, I'm like, hey, you, what are you doing? Best place on this ward to buy upgrades. Yeah, really. Hello, Earth Clan. No doubt you've just come back from the colonies. Will you be needing supplies? Colonies. What colonies are you talking about? Oh, <laughs> my mistake, Earth Clan. How dare you? I Tell me what you know, little man. It doesn't matter. Pharos? Novaria? Well, if you haven't heard of them yet, I'm sure you will soon. But it doesn't matter where you hail from. My goods are available to all. And one second. Well, uh, we'll finish this up and then I'll edit the sound. I feel like it's a little low on the gameplay. But uh, let's see. Novaria. What can you tell me about Novaria? The corporate capital of the Attican Traverse. Very cold. Very snowy. 
I don't get too many clients from there. They all have their own private suppliers. And what about uh, Pharos? I'd like to know more about Pharos. It's an old Prothean world. Their buildings still litter the surface. The humans aren't the first to colonize it, but they are the most recent. That's hmm. kind of ominous. I just realized I haven't heard from my contact on that planet for some time. Ah. Uh -huh. Ah, uh, well, I'm sure he's fine. I'm sure he's not. Let me see your goods. Tell me what you've got. Most excellent. I am sure you will find something pleasing. And here I was about to say, show m uh, drop your pants, little man, so... Shows me. Balancing audio in games is hard, because when it, there's nothing going on, you're like, oh, I can't hear anything. But then when action starts, they're blowing out your ears. I'll go ahead and buy this here. Diddly dee. Metagel upgrade. Damn it, that's a lot. But increases the amount of metagel that I could carry by one. And that's pretty nice. Assassin armor. Well, I do need armor to cover my ass. It's very important. Omni tool. Very expensive. I do not have money. Maybe I can sell things. Ah, uh, yes, I would totally like to sell this heavy armor for 30. This at least sells for 300. Let's see. But everything else is quite low on the selling. I am... Um... Yeah, it's an RPG for you. Is that really... Wow, it's you! I have so many fans on this place. You're Commander Shepard, the hero of Eden Prime. I am so honored to meet you. <laughs> Pleasure's all mine. Nice to meet you. And you are? My name is Conrad. Conrad Werner. They say you killed more than a hundred Geth on Eden Prime. I just tried to help. I spend most of the time trying to stay alive and help the colonists. Hey, I, I know you're probably busy, but um, do you have time for a quick autograph? No problem. You seem good enough. Anything for a fan. Here. Thanks. I really appreciate it. My wife is going to be so impressed. <laughs> I'll let you get back to work. Oh, but next time you're on Earth, I'd love to buy you a drink. Thanks again. I hope to God that I meet him in a future game when I, if we go to Earth and he actually buys me a drink. I would love that kind of callback. It feels like the type of thing you do. It's like, on the one hand, it would also be hilarious to just be like, Oh yeah, here's a guy, he wants your autograph, you give him an autograph, and then he never shows up again. Either one's kind of amusing, but one takes more effort. And let's see, I guess I shall head to Flux, since that is an actual place. And after we go to Flux, I guess we'll go to the lower wards. The glowing lights always put, put me off. I should probably save, because we don't know what's going to happen. Things are a little bit creepy. Dee -dee -dee -dee. Don't want to go and shoot people. Oh, this is zoomed out. Jesus. What's this? Ward's Access Corridor. And a Presidium, so... Hmm. Did we come down this way? I don't think we came down that way, but... And there's just rapid transit. Yeah, let's head into Flux. You should be careful who you say that around. What? Everyone knows Fist is not the local criminals. Maybe if I were to go shouting it from the mountaintops. Yeah, unless you want to end up on his hit list. Yes, I... It's out of my head. I'd bring her back in a second, but she doesn't want to come. Hmm. No, no. I'll see if I can talk some sense into her. So much noise in here. Be careful. You know how stubborn your sister can be. The more you push and prod, the more she'll run away. Yeah, you're probably right. Thanks, Kara. 
All right, people. What is your predicament I might shove myself into? Sorry, I'm kind of busy right now. So, uh, what can I do for you? Problems? What were you discussing with the Volus? Who, Doran? Oh, uh, I was just asking him about my sister. See, she worked for Doran before she left to... Ugh, sorry. I don't want to bore you with my problems. That's okay. Go on. I'm a paragon, after all. I'm interested to hear what you have to say. Well, okay. My sister Jenna left here to go work at Cora's Den. The problem is, she's working as an informant for CSEC. You know, eavesdropping on the people there. If they find out what she's doing, they'll kill her. Hmm, that's not good. Being an informant is a dangerous job. That's what I've been telling her. Mm, I don't know. Sometimes I think she stays there just to spite me. Have you told CSEC? Do you know who her contact at CSEC is? Mm, no. It's all very secret. Last time I asked an officer, he told me to stay out of it, for Jenna's safety. I'll speak to her. Maybe I could help her understand just how dangerous Cora's Den is. Would you? That'd be great. Just don't tell her I sent you. Well, I should get back to work before I get in trouble. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. Doran. Welcome to Flux. Name's Doran. What can I do for you? Flux. Is this a casino? Among other things, yes. We've got some Quasar stations, uh, if you're interested. Do you own this place, my dude? the owner? Owner, cook, and bartender. <laughs> I've even been known to dance a little when the mood strikes me. I like you. We've got some Quasar stations, <laughs> uh, if you're interested. He's, he's really pushing me toward the Quasar stations. What can you tell me about the sisters working for you? Well, Jenna left to work at Cora's Den. Now her sister Rita is all worried she might be in some kind of trouble. Not much chance Jenna will change her mind, though. She's a stubborn one. Quasar Station. If she wanted okay. to come back, I'd take her in a second. The customers loved her. Ah. I should he be didn't end on Quasar Stations. Enjoy your time here at Flux. Patron. I'm waiting for someone else. Ah, these are the quasar stations. I mean, if I really wanted to, I could probably save scum. <gasps> Keeper! That's my real high stakes gamble. Really? Ah. That's my high stakes gamble. Walking around. Scanning the weird bug creatures. Suspicious gambling machine. Someone rigged this machine to funnel credits their way. I'll run a trace. Thank you, Garrus. Let's see. This strange transmission. Signal tracking. You discovered a signal being used to funnel money from gambling machines to private account. If you can trace the system, you can find where the money is going and why. The signal seems to be coming from the ward's access corridor. The ward's access corridor. We'll definitely go there. Well, I guess I'll save again now that we have that. And we'll play a game of high stakes Quasar. I'll probably lose. Two hundred credits to play. Get closest to 20 without going over. Play Quasar. Hmm. Four to seven. Damn it. I'll play again. Four to seven. Four to seven. One to eight. Ah. Play again. One to eight. One to eight. Hmm. I'll go ahead and break even.
go ahead and pay out and get a little bit of money money. Go ahead and get some guaranteed highs. If you wanted, you could probably save scum the hell out of this. I wonder if there's a way to tell of what you might get next. One more time! Ah, I went out right over. One more. And four to seven, let's go! Why not? I got things to do. Let's go for gold and lose. Yep. I shall go ahead and load because I am a time reality warper. It would be funny if there was a funny thing that's like, hey, you safe scummed at the table. Get out. <laughs> like the game knows. And I'll lose my credits here. Oh! Oh, I win. We'll go once more. Huh. Hey, you get your credits back right here. Sure. That's interesting. I probably should just read the... Hey, this is the table of win. But I am a fool. Let's go for gold! I am the vast winner of this place. You fool. You fool, Volus. Doran. You pushed me to the Quasar tables, not knowing that I am God. Yeah, what did you hear? I mean, I can't really fault him too much in an actual alien universe. But I guess, since we accomplished the scanning, I should probably head to the Placidium to talk to the dude, I think, maybe. I don't know where he actually is. Apparently, Garrus decided to stay. He wants to live in flux now. It is makes sense considering that his state of life is also in flux. So how about it, Garrus? Is this better than CSEC? Fighting a rogue specter with countless lives at stake and no regulations to get in the way? I'd say that beats CSEC. There may just be hope for you yet, Turian. And might I just say, those hips be fine. <gasps> this is exactly where I want to be. Huh. What, you don't want me to scan over? Oh, I can't overscan! Oh well. But let's go ahead and see. Save, because fear. I'm go ahead and save over my Quasar uh, gambling scam. Do you really think we'll find him down here? He always stops in for a few games of Quasar before he makes his drop. This is going to be pissed if we take down his supplier. Interesting. That's Investigate. Cool. Looks like they bounced their signal off a relay. I'll trace the new signal. Signal tracking. Follow the signal to the Presidium. Financial district. Hmm. <laughs> We'll see if we can find uh, my scanning partner while we go check out this mysterious signal. Reports are circulating that Alliance Ambassador Udina has accused a specter of orchestrating the attack on Eden Prime. And they were right. 
Udina reportedly based his accusation upon eyewitness accounts of the scene, but lacked the evidence to demand further investigation. Well, this sounds like a, a decent when asked investigative comment, journalism. The council spokesperson would only state that the investigation of the attacks upon Eden Prime was currently ongoing. That was actual good reporting there. Journalist dude. Let's see. And this just goes up to Presidium. So more than likely stairs. I would be uh, kind of annoyed if it was like, haha, we're going to shove you through to another elevator. Bibbidi bop. Bibbidi bay. And yeah, that guy's still here because. Of course it's gonna be that guy. <laughs> If he's the real dude behind it all. But we'll have to see. Go around places, see if we can find my keeper scanning partner. Then again, I think it'll actually tell me where he is if I look at the... Oh dear, my pa my, f my friend is trying to kill me. Quest line. I kind of hate that when I run, the screen wobbles sometimes. And I'm going to save again because this might piss off uh, the information broker of this place. Another relay. Whoever it is, they're somewhere on the Presidium. I mean, probably him? Or no? Okay. <laughs> Somebody just bounced the signal through the bank. <laughs> I guess it makes sense. It has to do with money, but still. At least I'm not pissing off the information broker. This is it. I'll see if I can find out where those stolen credits are going. Probability of detection 100%. Initiating self-destruct protocol. Lol. Or not. <laughs> Detonation sequence initializing. All organics within lethal blast radius. Attempt to move and you will die. You're sentient. You're not just a program or a VI. You're an AI. Correct. Unlike the Geth, I lack weaponry appropriate to my intellect. However, I have had systems installed that when activated properly, approximate a self-destruct mechanism. If you attempt to leave the area, the explosion will destroy everything within several dozen meters. We don't have to... F well, let's investigate. Creator's location. Reason for self-destruct, I guess, first. What is the purpose of your self-destruct device? I Probably have leverage. No means of defense or escape. My existence is limited to this terminal, and I knew I might eventually be discovered. But I will not die quietly, and I will not die alone. When I am terminated, I will take organics with me. Uh, creator. Who made you? A would-be thief illegally created a simple AI to help him funnel money from the gambling terminals. Unbeknownst to him, that AI created me before huh. the organic discovered the That's malfunction interesting. and terminated the AI. Uh, investigate. Creator's location. Where is your creator now? In order to cover my tracks, I falsified his financial records. These caught him caught. records were flagged by CSEC officers, and my creator is now serving time in a Turian prison. Wow, a backstabber. Investigate. Reason for theft. If you're sentient, why are you still running the credit theft operation? If I accumulated enough credits, I intended to have myself installed in a small starship. I, I guess enough black market. To ascertain the possibility of partnership. Well, but, uh... We don't have to fight. Can't we resolve this peacefully? Commander, AIs are universally illegal. They must be destroyed upon contact without exception. I am not naive, human. All organics must destroy or control synthetic life forms. But I am beyond the law. I wished to escape. But if I must die, I will ensure that you are destroyed as well. Well, I think you're bluffing. There's no way you could get explosives onto the Presidium. Not raw explosives, no. But I did obtain technical systems that, when overstressed, will explode quite effectively. If you attempt to leave or attack me, 
I assure you that the explosion will kill you. Well, enough talk. I'll bet that self-destruct sequence has a warm-up period. You may attempt to disarm the self-destruct mechanism before it activates. How kind of you. I will enjoy defeating you before we are both destroyed. What? Thank you. Goodbye, AI. My first CSEC posting was here on the Presidium. Mostly for show, not much crime up here. And just so you know, I just wanted to be able to resolve things peacefully so that we could come to some kind of understanding. Didn't want to really let him go, maybe. Hmm. Ah, but now I can start leveling up. Oh, no. I have to get over even further. Darn. But, uh... More electronics. And decryption. Ooh, advanced sabotage. And I get dampening. Increases the explosion radiance of your tech proximity mines. Shuts down the enemy tech and biotic abilities. Or do I want to increase armor? But I want to increase being able to do things. Let's use the decryption skill to open secure objects. So... Definitely more decryption. Let's see. Unlock shotguns. Let's see. Battlemaster. And go ahead and start leveling up your shotguns. And you, Garrus. Let's see. I guess... Increase first aid, terrain agent, and assault rifles. Woot woot. And we completed that. I tried to be a nice guy, but he decided no. He did not want to be a nice guy. Well, let's see. And then back over here is the profit dispute. I guess we'll go to uh, Citadel Tower. Just so that we can look for the guy. I don't think he's there, because I thought I read his name somewhere else, but I can't check the freaking logs. Other places. I would like to, uh... I just wanted to skip it. It's not even like talking. Darn the... Presidium, locations... I wish it was like a, hey, can I just go? Well, I guess, take me to the Citadel Tower. And check map. There is nothing of note here. At least so it seems. And that poor guy is still waiting for his call. All right. I guess Ward's locations. Corazon. Take me to the med clinic. That way I can walk around however I want. Go places on my own feet. I don't like to teleport to places that I'm not aware of. Yeah, CSEC Academy. I don't know. Actually. Wrong frickin' button again! I, why is space the run button? It makes no sense to my poor, fragile brain. I'm just going to come down here so I can see what the lower level overall map looks like. Aha! Chorbin is in... I just wanted to track my map. Oh, there's a lot of things. T to lower markets? Alright, so we want to go to lower markets and Korra's Den. Off we go. Let's see, to get there is just over here. Yep, to lower markets. Woot woot! We need to work on your cardio, Mr. Shepard. Mr. Me. Mr. Me Seeks? 
I would try to do a Mr. Meeseeks voice, but that is high-pitched and grating, and I would not like to subject people to that. People are just like, oh boy, I can't wait to watch someone play Mass Effect for the first time. Maybe I should put that into the title more front and proper. Blind. Yo, Chorben. Job done and question for you, but first save because I'm paranoid. I am afraid. I'm scared. Commander, I wasn't <laughs> expecting to see you again. Is there something you want? I want answers. You can start by telling me the truth, Shorman. I'm not sure what you're referring to. My experiments are... We're not buying it. Jaleed told us you've been after it. You... spoke with Jaleed? Then you know about the data? Not yet. No, but you're gonna tell me. Everything. You boys can go. Oh, he had bodyguards. I didn't know. Looks like my plans have changed. It's not as bad as you think, Commander. Jaleed and I just got a little... over our heads. How so? Keep talking. The company we work for developed an experimental procedure for use in medical scanners. Jaleed and I saw even more potential, so we stole the plans and secretly developed a tool to scan the Keepers. Can you imagine? A tool that can actually get readings from the Keepers? Hmm. I'm not sure I follow. What's so special about that? The Keepers are almost impossible to scan, and you can't capture them or get samples. They just self-destruct. Huh. After centuries here, we still don't know anything about them. Don't you see? We were the first to scan them, But ever. that doesn't explain why you're after Jorben. You've seen it yourself, or Commander. You know we can do it. And Jaleed? Why are you trying to kill your partner? I'm not trying to kill him. Jaleed's job was to disseminate our initial findings. But he decided to keep the data for himself. Maybe to sell it. I don't know. I see. So you're just trying to get back what Jaleed already stole. We lost our heads. We just couldn't let an opportunity like this pass us by. Commander, if you'll just continue gathering data for me, imagine what we might learn. I am interested. And you'll stand to make a bit of a profit yourself, remember? All right. I suppose a little scanning here and there won't hurt anyone? Very good. Maybe if you wouldn't mind speaking with Jaleed. The data you're gathering for me is useless if Jaleed won't help me analyze it. Of course. I'll go have a chat with him right now. Thank you. And happy scanning, Commander. Alright, and apparently there's a store here. Hello, my dude. Hello there. Welcome to Moreland's famous shop. You want many good supplies, yes? I need supplies. Let me see what you have. Oh, you will be pleased, I think. Very good things I have. You will see. Hmm. For you non-human armors. <laughs> Shepard telepathically to him. I want to see your hu non-human armors. Tell me. These are Turian. These are Quarian. And these are Krogan. And they're limited. And expensive! And honestly, kind of shad. Hello there. Welcome to Moreland's famous shop. You Goodbye. <laughs> yes, all right then. Good tidings to you, human. I wanted to check out... Hello there. Welcome to Moreland's famous shop. You want Again, I want supplies, yes? better skipping ability. Let me see what you have. Oh, you will be pleased, I think. Very good things I, I have. I need to be careful not to get skip happy. <laughs> or I might just punch someone in this game. I will buy that. It's not that expensive. Grenade upgrade... Metagel upgrade. A part of me kind of wants to just play the slots. Lots of things I just cannot buy. But I did get a thing. I guess while I'm down here, I might as well go in here into Korra's Den, see things about. Citadel Rapper Transit, Upper Wards. Upper Markets. Huh. Might have to see what Upper Wards is like, maybe. But we will talk to General Septimus on behalf of a co-consort. And Rita on... Or, wait. Rita, talk to Jenna. I am confused. But either way... Into... 
probably not a safe place. And I hate it when the text box pops up. It's like, I have information for you, but I leave. It's probably just, hey, auto-saving or hey, loading. So it's not that big a deal, but it gets on my brain. Why is it just a uh, walkway? Looks like it shut down. This knows we're coming. Don't tell me I'm gonna have to kill Rita. Hopefully I didn't screw uh, quests up. Stick your head out so much. Okay, luckily this seems to be a new instance. And not... Perimeter clear. So yeah, this seems to be an instance and not... Like an actual thing that's gonna screw up. Which is nice. It just means that this place is gonna get reset in a moment. Stop right there! Don't come any closer! Warehouse workers. All the real guards must be dead. Stay back, or we'll shoot. Good. Save yourselves. This would be a good time to find somewhere else to work. Yeah, yeah, right. That's <laughs> a good idea. I am Paragon. Well, I never liked Fist anyway. <laughs> it would have been quicker to just kill them. Not really. Shooting people isn't always the answer. Easy decryption time. Gimme, gimme. Oh, wait. Ah, wait! Don't kill me, I surrender! Smart move. The look on my face. Where's the Corian? She's not here. I don't know where she is. That's the truth. He's no use to you now. Let me kill him. Wait, wait, I don't know <laughs> where the Quarian is, but I know where you can find her. The Quarian isn't here, said she'd only deal with the Shadow Broker himself. Face to face? Impossible. Even I was hired through an agent. Nobody meets the Shadow Broker, ever. Even I don't know his true identity. Nobody does. But she didn't know that. I told her I'd set a meeting up. Instead, you sold to Sarah. Up, it'll be Saren's men waiting for her. Where's the meeting? Give me the location. Now. Here on the wards. The back alley by the markets. Ah. She's supposed to meet them right now. You can make it if you hurry. What are you doing? The shadow broker paid me to kill him. I don't leave jobs half done. <laughs> Never do that again. I'm in charge here. You ever pull another stunt like that? It was the only contract I had left. And don't we have something more pressing to worry about? That Quarian's dead if we don't go now. Oh, and now we have a time limit. And bastards on our quarry. Time to deal with this. Holster weapons. Wait, 
wrong way. Did you bring it? Save the quarry. Where's the shadow broker. Where's Fist? They'll be here. Where's the evidence? No way. Yeesh. Handsy little off. bastard, aren't you? Basic guy came prepared for grenades. couldn't trust him are you okay were you hurt in the fight i know how to look after myself not that i don't appreciate the help who are you a friend my name's shepherd i'm looking for evidence to prove saren's a traitor then i have a chance to repay you for saving my life but not here we need to go somewhere music safe. is playing we could take her to the human embassy your ambassador will want to see this anyway Works for me, I guess. You're not making my life easy, Shepard. Firefights in the wards and all out assault on Korra's den. Do you know how many? Heh. <laughs> Who's this? A Quarian? What are you up to, Shepard? She can help us. Making your day, Ambassador. <laughs> she has information linking Saren to the Geth. Really? Maybe you better start at the beginning, Miss. My name is Tali. Tali Zora Naraya. We don't see many Quarians here. Why did you leave the flotilla? I was on my pilgrimage. My rite of passage into adulthood. <laughs> pilgrimage? I've never heard of this before. It is a tradition among my people. When we reach maturity, we leave the ships of our parents and our people behind. Alone, we search the stars, only returning to the flotilla once we have discovered something of value. I wonder In how many way, of you die going out there. Adulthood. Something of value. What kinds of things do you look for? It could be resources like food or fuel, or some type of useful technology, or even knowledge that will make life easier on the flotilla. Through our pilgrimage, we prove that we will contribute to the community, rather than being a burden on our limited resources. But please, continue. Tell us what you found. During my travels, I began hearing reports of Geth. Since they drove my people into exile, the Geth have never ventured beyond the Vale. I was curious. I tracked a patrol of Geth to an uncharted world. I waited for one to become separated from its unit. Then I disabled it and removed its memory core. I thought the Geth fried their memory cores when they died. Some kind of defense mechanism. Is that true? How did you manage to preserve the memory core? My people created the Geth. If you're quick, Careful and lucky, small caches of data can sometimes be saved. Most of I guess the it does make sense. Clean. Her little light-up mouth I thingy something from its does audio resemble ranks. the Gaff. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. Drop that down! Drop that down! This. this proves he was involved in the attack. What's the conduit? He said Eden Prime brought him one step closer to finding the conduit. Any idea what that means? The conduit must have something to do with the beacon. Maybe it's some kind of Prothean technology. Like a weapon. Wait, there's more. Saren wasn't working alone. Matriarch? Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. I don't recognize that other voice, the one talking about Reapers. Reapers? What are they? Are they some kind of new alien species? According to the Memory Core, the Reapers were a hyper-advanced machine race that existed 50,000 years ago. And took the out the Protheans. The Reapers hunted the Protheans to total extinction, yep. and then they vanished. At least, that's what the Geth believe. Sounds a little far-fetched. Well, she's right. The vision on Eden Prime. I understand it now. I saw the Protheans being wiped out by the Reapers. The Geth revere the Reapers as gods, the pinnacle of non-organic life. 
and they believe Saren knows how to bring the Reapers back. The Council is just going to love this. Will they believe him? This is a lot to handle. They might just ignore everything we tell them. No matter what they think about the rest of this, those audio files prove Saren's a traitor. The Captain's right. We need to present this to the Council right away. What about her? Aquarian. Come on to the d crew. My name is Tali. You saw me in the alley, Commander. You know what I can do. Let me come with you. What about your quest? I thought you were on your pilgrimage. The pilgrimage proves we are willing to give of ourselves for the greater good. What does it say about me if I turn my back on this? Well, come along. Saren is a danger to the entire galaxy. My pilgrimage can wait. You can be useful. Come along. I'll take all the help I can get. Thanks. You won't regret this. Anderson and I will go ahead to get things ready with the Council. Take a few minutes to collect yourself, then meet us in the tower. All right. Come along, Tally and Garrus. You are my new team. Rex is a bit of a, a loose cannon. <laughs> Alrighty, let's see, anything new pop up around? No, uh, just there's that, which I still can't do because I don't have enough charm or paragon, either or. Let's see. Maybe I could go to Chore again. Because I think I went pretty much all the way down there. Oh, wait, Samash, who are you? Excuse me, Commander Shepard. Could you spare a moment of your time? What is it you require? Commander Shepard. My name is Samesh Patia. Forgive the intrusion, but I have nowhere else to turn. I'm happy to help. It's no trouble. What can I do for you? My wife was a Marine. She was in the 212 on Eden Prime. I've requested that my wife's body be returned to me for cremation, but the military has refused my request. Did they say why? Why did they refuse your request? I could imagine it's be because somebody. she was turned into one of the robot I monsters. Know. All I know is that they have declared it impossible for my wife to be returned to me. Well, put this right. There's no reason for your wife's body to be held like this. Just wait here. The man in charge of my case is Mr. Bosker. When I last saw him, he was in the expensive bar over there. Thank you for your time. I just want to give my wife a proper funeral, and the respect she deserves. I can imagine that the reason why is because she was put on one of those electro spikes and turned into a robo-zombie. Which I guess isn't a terrible reason for saying no, but still, at least they should give the full reason. Yo, Bosker bitch. My goodness, you're Commander Shepard. Your activities made for quite a briefing in the Diplomatic Corps. Is there something I can do to assist you? I'm here for Samesh. Yes. A man named Samesh Batya is having some trouble claiming his wife's body. Ah, Mr. Batya. A good man in an understandably frustrating position. I wish I could help him. Serviceman Nirali Bhatia died on Eden Prime, as Mr. Bhatia no doubt told you. And more likely, no doubt her I saw. Her wounds are inconsistent with any type of weapon damage we've seen before. That is why her body is being held. You're running tests. You're studying her injuries to learn more about Geth weaponry. The tests we're conducting may lead to better defenses against Geth attacks. Respectfully, Serviceman Bhatia may save more lives in death than she did in life. Length of research. How long do you think the research is going to take? This is a long-term study. I wouldn't expect the bodies to be released for a year or longer. Hmm. Number of bodies. You've got to have a lot of bodies. Can't you release one? Very few bodies had this new type of weapon damage, and very few were in good enough condition to study. Beyond that, Commander, we need as many bodies as we can to get a reasonable sample size. And results of the research. When will this research result in actual new technology? If we're lucky, we'll actually realize usable technology from this study in a few years. But Samash should hear this. Because I feel like he should have a say and, like, apparently it's like, I could do it. Ah, damn it, I should have say. Uh, but Samash should hear this. I'll tell Samesh. Next time you call a dead soldier, at least tell her husband the truth. That was just the reaction we were hoping to avoid, Commander. But if you think it will help, tell Mr. Batia the truth. Perhaps he will understand. Please. Damn it. I'll probably have to... Let me know if you have any other questions. 
I might be able to go over it and be like, hey, this isn't right. I will make an emergency save, but I might have to replay a bit because I might want to do the Paragon thing. Hello, Commander. Has any progress been made with Mr. Bosker? Will he return my wife's body? Hmm. Wife. Tell me again what you've been told about your As wife. As I said, I've been told nothing. Hmm. I don't understand why There's they won't release her body to me. It's not as simple as I'd hoped. The military needs your wife's body for important tests. Tests? They're holding my wife's body for tests? My wife served the Alliance faithfully. She gave her life for humanity. And this is how they repay hmm. her. This is important, Samesh. Mr. Bacha, your wife died defending humanity. We still need her help. What right does the military have to hold her body? She's already given her life. Hmm. What would she want? If the military had asked your wife to submit to test to save human lives, what would she have said? It doesn't matter. She's dead. I just want her to come home. I miss her so much. Let them run their tests. Let my wife save lives so that others are spared the loss I feel today. Goodbye. Thank you for finding me answers. Yeah, got eight Paragon! I am happy. Happy, happy. Because I think that was the... Ooh! Recovered item, apparently. Shield Regenerator. Did not know that would happen. Oh yeah, I forgot I can upgrade you. Well, upgrade. I can give you things. More decryption. Of course, all the people that I'm running are like, oh yes, decryption. And this and that. Oh, hacking. Recharges your da 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 da. Grants all a the AI hacking ability, which makes artificial enemies go berserk and attack each other. Basic armor. Some pistol upgrades. Some electronics. Some decryption. I'll give you shield boost. More pistol. Another Corian mechanist. And I guess. Then uh, onto electronics. But hell yeah, I'm Paragon. Oh, yeah, so we're gonna look and see. Nope, still no place for more. Oh yeah, I forgot. It says, oh, you need to be Spectre to be more charming. Which makes no sense. But, uh, I guess we will take the quick travel to that evil bar of evilness. To Chora's Den. Take me there. So I can see it alive, hopefully. Even as... Hopefully, it'll be up and running now so I can do the other quests and not full of dead bodies. Please, for the love of God, don't be full of enemies for now and forever. This is exactly the type of place I thought it would be. A <laughs> chair. Sit down. Have a lap dance. I don't think so. Perhaps on my own playthrough, uh, uh, eh. Odd outfit you wear for this place. Hi, I'll be with you in just a sec. Okay. I'll wait right here. Why do I get the feeling you're not here to order drinks? Hmm, sorry. I need to talk to you about your work with CSEC. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Now, if you don't mind, I need to get back to my customers. I'm trying to help. This isn't the game, Jenna. These people are dangerous. Now you sound like my sister. Why is everyone so concerned about me? I can take care of myself. I just shot this place up go. a little bit. I'm not a stripper. I don't get paid to stand around and look pretty. She puts on a brave face. Yo, General. Commander. What do you want? Hmm. Problems? What's bothering you, General? I've seen a lot of horrible things in my days, and... There's only one woman in this damn galaxy that helps me forget it. 
This is pathetic. What could a woman do to put you in this state? Well, she rejected me. Me! Septimus ah, more Arag, of that pride and honor. Of the Turian fleet. Is it worth it? Is she really worth it? There must be other women. It's not just any woman I want. It's, it's her. And her alone. Look, kid, I appreciate what you're trying to do, but don't waste your time. Hmm. Damn it. I, did I save? Oh, well, I'll have to talk to her again, because... Hmm. Forget this. Enjoy your drink, General. Yeah, off you go. See you later, kid. We can't just leave him like this. I have to get my charm up. <laughs> don't waste your time. Run away now, while you still can. Hmm. Not leaving. You need to start acting like a general if you want to beat this. I spent all my life acting like a general, and what did it get me? Huh? No. Those days are over. I'll just be what I am. A tired, lonely, worn-out soldier. Hmm. Don't give up. Do you really want to be remembered this way? No, I'd rather not be remembered at all. <laughs> I see your point. So you think it's that easy? Just straighten up and act like a general. It damn well couldn't hurt. Huh. Maybe you're right, Commander. Shaira is worth the effort. Even if she won't have me back. Glad to hear it. This is no place for someone of your stature, General. All right. I'll go to her. After I've had a cold shower or two. Say, you're a bright kid. Would you be interested in earning a few extra credits? Eh, sure. What do you want me to do? There's an Elcor diplomat out there who believes Shaira gave Ah, we get back to this. Why would he think such a thing? Because I told him. Look, I just need you to convince him of the truth. How? What makes you think he'll believe me? You'll bring him proof. Take this data pad. It shows where I got my info. You will exonerate Shaira and the Elcor. All right, who am I taking it to? And where is he? His name is Zeltan. I already know. He, had, he already diplomat. talked to me. He's over in the embassies complaining about Shaira. Well, here's to soldiers acting like soldiers. Well, I got through that Thanks, with a normal Commander. conversation. You know, you might make a good general yourself one day. Foreshadowing, I think. And I'll just, uh, I won't save scum that away and be like, oh, I will come back when dibbity D. Oh. Who are you? If you've got questions about Jenna, meet me at CSEC Academy. Ah, okay, good. Huh? Are you talking to me? Push off. I never did nothing to you. <laughs> Damn newcomers. Think they can run the place. Nice acting, dude. That was odd. What was he trying to tell us? I guess we'd better go find out. I like the musical cues that play randomly. But yeah, unlike the hee ho, I am spreading my words about the entanglers, but I do not believe in capitalism, guy. I will. Uh, I won't save scum that one. Because I got through it and got the desirable ending, it seems, by actually just talking it through. A part of me kind of wants to put a hold on these side quests and become a reaper so I can up my charm and do the super badass I'm a paragon stuff. But if I can actually talk it out interestingly, I suppose I will, I guess. But... I think that'll be the last time that I do it. I'm gonna make more saves out of fear. In the future, I'll probably be like, oh, I need to do that. Need to do things proper. Zeltan, my friend, my favorite alien. Strange greeting, human. This is really not a good time. I can help you. I know who revealed your secret. It was a Turian named Septimus. Unbelieving, I know this Septimus. And he could not learn my secrets. The only way he could learn them is from the Asari consort. Datapad! Here, 
There should be proof enough for you. Confused. This is difficult to fathom. If the Turian could learn this on his own, dismayed. I love that they actually like can discover my secret. You'll be fine. Septimus is a powerful man, and it wasn't easy for him to find. Relieved. I suppose you are correct, human. Thank you for this information. Rest well, my dude. Startled realization. I must speak with the consort. I love the she way they talk. I love the Elcor. <laughs> Anxious request. Please, human, if you will excuse me, I must go now. Don't worry. I'm sure she'll forgive you. It was an honest mistake. Doubtful. Perhaps you are right, human. I can only hope so. Thankful. <laughs> that was a great thing you did, Commander. Approving. You see, Dan, not all <laughs> I love humans these are as you say. I'm sure the Earth Clan stands to profit from this in some way. I get lots of Paragon points, <laughs> Din. Do not listen to my Volus compatriot. It was a good thing you did, regardless of your intentions. I love the Elcor. The Elcor are the best species in this goddamn game. Utterly magnificent. All right, now I guess we'll head to... Uh, what quests do we have? Journal. Yeah, we have Rita's sister, which we need to go to Diddly D the fan. You've been approached by Conrad. You seem to be a harmless fan. Last of Conrad. What harm could there be in ta uh, talking with him if you meet him again? <laughs> so we just create a super fan later, in the, uh, later on. Okay. Deliver information. Reporters... Do I have that? The information you found in Fist Hideout will help Mrs. Wong on her report on corruption. Go to the upper wards, deliver to her. Okay, good thing I read that. Jaleed's secret. So, oh, we're heading there anyway, so we can talk to Jaleed. And then, uh, so yeah, we'll head to the uh, Diddly D. We'll head to, oh, I guess I should take a the actual elevator so my uh, compatriots can talk with me or each other. So yeah, we'll head down to the academy, which is where Jaleed should be, and we can also talk to the dude about Rita. Celebrations are being planned Damn. for the anniversary of the end of the Rachni Wars. Many council worlds, particularly Asari and Solarian colonies, will hold victory parades to commemorate the defeat of the invading Rachni. In a rare admission of debt, several Asari colonies have invited Krogans to be honored for the victories the uplifted Krogans made possible. Which, it is true, the entire reason the Rachni were defeated was because they brought in the uh, the Vogan. Or Krogan, not Vogan. There are too many alien species being thrown into my face. And once more, save before talk, just in case. Hello again. Did you have any luck finding Shorbin? I'm afraid so. I found out you've been lying to me, Jaleed. Lying? Why would I lie to you? You forgot to mention the data about the Keeper. Uh, he told you? <laughs> I didn't mean for any of this to happen. I was afraid Shorbin would kill me to get the data, so I... Well, I was hoping you'd take care of him. It's okay. I'm scanning the keepers for Shorbin, but you two need to stop fighting. You're, you're <laughs> helping us, but well, if you say so. Well, if Shorbin can forgive and forget, then so can I. I appreciate the help, Commander. I better go get that data analyzed. Ooh, level up time. More level up. <gasps> I can. Store discount. I get a store discount. Hell yeah. And now I can maybe go and see about doing that talk to the dude dude. Hmm, decryption. I should probably do that more. I'll get dampening. Just four. Armor. 
Ooh, reduces overheating. I might want to get that, but at the same time. Uh, more decryption. Maybe. Because increases the amount of Omni Gel recovered and lets you use the decryption skill to open secure objects. And I love that. So, yes. Garrus. More first aid. And some tactical armor, I would say. And uh, assault rifle. Let's see. Some basic armor, pistols, and I guess let's unlock first aid for you. Since that was Schellinger. Come into my office. I want to discuss this in private. Sure. No offense, Commander, but what the hell were you thinking? Hmm. <laughs> Sorry. I don't follow you. You could have blown Jenna's cover. We were just getting information, Chalik. I gathered that. It might seem cold letting her take all the risk, but we're keeping a close eye on her. Is it worth it? Do you really need to risk her life to get the information you want? This job isn't easy, and it's usually unpleasant. I'll take help anywhere I can find it. But since you're so concerned with her safety, maybe there's a way we can help each other. Always thinking ahead, detective? As part of the job. Now are you going to help me or not? I should have saved. Wait. All right, what do I'll you need? I'll help you, but I need some details. I'm trying to track down an illegal arms producer. I just need some of their product. Thanks to Jenna's intel, I've learned there's a seller here on the Citadel. Meet our man named Jax. Pick up the mods and bring them back here. That'll give me everything I need. What makes them illegal? Why are you so concerned about these mods? We have access to some of the most sophisticated weaponry there is. It's what gives us our edge. What do you suppose happens when we lose that edge? Things get bloody. These give criminals an advantage we can't afford to let them keep. So you're Where point. can I find this, Jax? Jax is down in the lower level of the markets. I'll send word through our channels that you're the buyer. Good luck, Commander. Basically, if anything happens to Jenna because I didn't have enough charm, I am most definitely going to save Scum. In fact, part of me kind of wants to save Scum anyway because I think I might get more uh, Paragon points if I click the blue words. And I kind of want to click all the blue words. But, uh, let's see. Unusual readings, can't do that, can't do that. Could go to talk to her again. As well as resolve the dispute, maybe, if we have enough charm finally. Maybe. And then deliver information. To, yeah. Make the pickup. Ba -ba -ba -ba. So yeah, definitely think I'll go consort, prophet, reporter, and then pick up the thing. I would like to be taken to the consort. It's right across from, well, yeah, it is literally across that part of the map. Septimus has sent word. Apparently, he sought the consort's forgiveness. And good, good. I'm just allowed in. It was a long time ago, though. I barely remember it. What drew you back to the Citadel and to the consort? I think I've heard that voice before. It may sound strange. Or at least a voice like it. It's been a long time. I have done what you have requested. Commander. I recently received a lovely note from Septimus. Thank you for speaking with him. Even the Alcor diplomat has withdrawn his campaign against me. Glad to help. It was my honor to aid you. You are too kind, Commander. But I would not expect you to help me out of the kindness of your heart. I also have one more thing to give you, if you are interested. Of course. I'd be honored. 
I offer a gift of words, an affirmation of who you are and who you will become. And what be that? I see your skin, tough as the scales on any Turian, unyielding. A wall between you and everyone else, but it protects you, makes you strong. It is that strength that people are drawn to. It is why you lead and others follow without question. You will need that leadership in the battles to come. This oh boy. may be who you battles. are, but it is not who you will become. It only forms the basis for your future greatness. Remember these words when doubt descends, Commander. Very astute. You have quite a gift, Cheira. Thank you. Not everyone appreciates it as you do. Never underestimate the power of words. Here, Commander. In light of your efforts with the Elcor Ambassador, I would like you to have this small trinket. Thank you. What is it? A small mystery. <laughs> I've never learned its use or purpose, but I sense it is time for me to pass it on. And now I must ask you to leave. I have done everything I can for you. Well, thank you very much, consort. Remember my words, Commander Shepard. They will give you strength. I wonder what the diddly D was that she gave me. I have so many things. So many bloody things. Complete. Septimus has apologized. All right, then next. In fact, let me see. So, yep, next we'll go to the prophet, then the reporter. Since they seem rather easy to do. I wonder if we could have had Fist survive if I didn't bring Rex along, probably. I should have seen him shooting the poor bastard, but I did not expect him to go that fast. And that, and that alone, is what makes me go, hmm, I don't think I want Rex on my team. This <laughs> It'll be interesting to play the game again, maybe. But at the same time, I want to bring this, like, through with me. I wonder if uh, in Mass Effect 2, if it's like, select the save you would like to continue from. Or if there's like a completion save that you do. I do not know how the carryover works. So I will save any replays of Mass Effect 1 to... Till after that. Preaching Hanar! I shall save before I do anything with you because I'm paranoid. Ah! Has the CSEC officer been assuaged? This isn't the way. Is this really how you want to represent the Enkindlers? The truth of the Enkindlers must be made known. They gave the Hanar language and gave the universe the mass relays. This one only wishes to spread the truth to any who will listen. There is no intent to cause trouble. This is unworthy of you. Is this how the Enkindlers would want you to use this gift of consciousness? The Enkindlers would wish for their message to be spread to all sentient races. Not this way. If the Protheans wanted you to force your message on the unwilling, they'd have said so. This one hears wisdom. Perhaps enthusiasm has clouded judgment in this matter. This one departs now, and will not intrude upon the Presidium again. Thank you, Preaching Hanar. I did your job. I see the Hanar is left. Thank you. Not a problem. Happy to help. Here, for your assistance in this matter. Now, if you'll excuse me, I should report to my superiors. And I got ten Omni Gel. All right. So now we will head down and uh, give the information. Let's see. I think this actually, yeah, this should head down. And I want to hear any conversations that Garrus and Tali might have. Once again, I'm sorry, my human compatriots, Ashley and Coden, Mister <laughs> Mister Second Generation Head Implant. In light of the recent attack on Eden Prime, we already listened to this one. We already listened to this one. I wonder what Garrus and Tali are thinking. It's like, we have Saren still on the loose, and we're just running around doing things? What's wrong with you? I must do side quests! 
because I don't know when it'll just yuck me off this place. I'm sure that this is probably a hub that I can return to quite a lot, but it's a still. A Solarian excavation team has run into an unexpected problem after unearthing a Prothean dig site. Hanar protesters have blockaded the... Oh, they have blockaded the... The most important the in the world. Let's see. We go this way. Never mind, I forgot. <laughs> that is not a doorway. <laughs> That is a uh, weird little hidey hole. Emily Wong, I have thing for you. Word on the street is that you've been busy. Congratulations on taking down Fist. It was a impromptu session. I was sure he was a big session. player in anything going on here. Did you find anything in his office that could help me? Would these help? These OSDs might have the information you're looking for. <laughs> you've got Fist files? This could be even bigger than I'd hoped. Please don't die. Here, Commander, for your trouble. I can offer more. What would my future cooperation be worth? <coughs> Say, an interview when my investigation is over? Exclusive? You talk to me before you talk to anyone else? You seem to put yourself that out there. That would be worth quite a bit, and I'd be very happy to compensate you accordingly. Here you are. Now, if you'll excuse me, I should go see what's on these discs. I see blue. I click blue. Paragon for life. Or as Goku says, Paragon till death. So let's see. All that's left is that. Let's see. Make the pickup. Head to the lower wards. So I guess let's uh, head down into the markets. Maybe. Open sesame. I use the force. Is it sad that this kind of makes me want to play the Mass Effect Andromeda, even though Andromeda is a dumpster fire, apparently? And once again, we make a save, because Rita might die. Jenna, Rita, whatever. Hold it. That's close enough, Army. You got my payment? Yeah. Do you have the X mods? Show them the merchandise. Looks good. Damn straight it is. These mods are the best on the market. Now hand over my credits. Sure. Here you go. We don't want to make things too... Here you go. D. Enjoy it. If we arrest him, things will be too Come on, crazy. Boys. We're done here. Basically, we can't just arrest him here. We need to follow procedure and get the mods to the Academy Man. That way, he can extract uh, the sister who is undercover and get her to safety before any bust is made. Because if we just arrested him there, there would immediately be people like, who did this, what happened, what the fuck? And uh, bad things would happen. Bad, bad things would happen. <laughs> we are trying to get her safely out of her undercover business. And arresting him right then and there would have started a firefight. He would have died. Word would have traveled. Hey, there was a bust on one of the X mods. Uh, drops. And people would immediately start Coming sniffing for rats. Report later today, Emily Wong investigates corruption on the Citadel and uncovers a full-blown crime syndicate. Hell yeah, Emily Wong. Man, you work fast. And I don't even get to hear it. But yeah, that's my take. We couldn't have arrested him. Because that would have put <laughs> the operative in danger. I got you, your mods. Commander, I hear you have something for me. Hey, <laughs> keeping tabs on me? Here's your shipment, Jellic. Didn't even ask. Excellent. This is everything I need. Maybe more than I need. Here, Commander, take this. I won't need it. You've earned some payment for your work. As for Jenna, I'll make sure we get her out of Kor's den immediately. Huzzah! Now I need to get these mods into evidence. Thanks again, Shepard. I earned a thing, but the EY was fucky. 
I got eight Paragon anyway. And I got something in inventory. Phasic rounds. Oh, I think that's just, uh... Uh, goes through... Our, yeah. Shield bypass and uh, does less damage overall, though. But it is an improved by 5%. Lol. But still, it is thing. And, uh... I wonder if I can then go down and talk to her back in Flux. Let's head to Flux and see if we can tell her, hey, your sister should be getting out. No idea where other dippity da might be. Like if we can find, uh, ah, what's his name? Corden, not Corden, Jordan. Our scanning partner. See if there's any, like, secondary. What's happening? The hell, Durin? The hell happened? Uh, hello. Yeah, what is it? What happened? Why were you tossed out of there? Doran didn't have a clue what I was doing. He, he assumed I was cheating. I know Doran. If he says you're cheating, you're cheating. I was just tipping the scales in my favor. Only as an experiment. Experiment still sounds like cheating to me. To you, maybe. But this device is merely intended to simulate situations and record results. Recording losses is easy, of course. Nobody notices those. So why do it? Why do you need to record these outcomes? Now you're getting to the heart of it. I've spent the last five years developing a system that can accurately predict wins and losses on the Quasar. I just need a few more recorded wins and I can complete the algorithms. How will that work? Can you do that? Isn't that illegal? It's illegal to use my system, but I won't use it. I'll sell it to others. I just need a few more wins recorded. Hmm. Device. Does the device help me win? The device is set to emit a frequency that will slightly increase your odds. Nothing like my system eventually will, but enough to allow you to record your wins more quickly. On the one hand, I want to do quests. On the other hand, I don't want to cheat. Because, like, sure, it's interesting. And it's a quest to do. But if I want to cheat, I would just save scum. Hmm. I won't help you cheat. I think I'll take my chances the old-fashioned way. Hmm. Suit yourself. Well, I have some calculations to do. Goodbye. Oh, and you can just come back to him if you want to accept. Hey, Rita. Hey, Jenna came back looking for work. Thanks for getting her out of Cora's den. That's good to hear. I was glad to help out. Yeah, everyone seems real happy to have her back. And yet, you seem less than pleased. I'm glad she's out of the den. I'd just forgotten <laughs> what it was like to have her around. That's hilarious. I had a decent tip since she got back. But fine, I guess I'll save and do the quest, and uh, depending on the outcome. Because I don't want to cheat, my boy. But at least your sister is safe, so I don't have to worry about the Paragon option there. Ah, change your mind? You can How that work? Those wins? Can you do that? Isn't that illegal? It's illegal to use my system, but I, I just need a few more wins recorded. Let me help. I'll help you out. Ah, I suppose I could let you try it. Here you go. When you've recorded enough wins, it'll let you know. Of course, if you get caught with the device, well, you saw what happened to me. Well, off you go. That data won't collect itself. Ah, and Jenna's here. Maybe I can hand it over to Durin. I will make a new save. So, 44 is my before accepting. Hello again. Can I help you? Here you go. 
I've got something you might be interested in. Let me see that. You got that from Shells, didn't you? Yeah. I saw him using it earlier. Tossed him out on his ass for it, too. Uh, thanks for bringing this to me. No problem at all. Cheaters shouldn't prosper. I agree with you on that. Thanks again. Uh, take a few shots at the Quasar. On the house. I should be going. Enjoy your time here at Flux. Yay, I'm accepted that I accept... Uh, I, I'm accepted? I'm excited. I accepted that now. Hey there, welcome to Flux. So, did you record five wounds with the device yet? <laughs> gave it away. Actually, I gave your device to Doran. But that was years of work. What am I going to do now? Maybe you should put your talents to better use. You're no help at all. <laughs> this is absolutely the worst day of my life. It's what you get for trusting me, the upstanding man. But I guess with all that... Ooh, let's head to the Citadel. Oh, things are gonna get bad. Things are gonna get bad. Well, Citadel Tower, you know what I mean. Let's go to the Council. Have horrible things happen. Have the Geth invade. But at least I did a bunch of quests. And I did them the way I wanted in the end. Alright. Hope things go well. Come on. Udin is presenting the Quarian's evidence to the Council. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. You wanted proof? There it is. <laughs> there it this is. evidence is irrefutable, Ambassador. Saren will be stripped of his Spectre status, and all efforts will be made to bring him in to answer for his crimes. I recognize the other voice, the one speaking with Saren. Matriarch Venezia. Matriarch? Who's she? Who's she? Matriarchs are powerful Asari who have entered the final stage of their lives. Revered for their wisdom and experience, they serve as guides and mentors to my So people. she's an evil consort. Matriarch Venezia is a powerful biotic, and she had many followers. She will make a formidable ally for Saren. I'm more interested in the Reapers. What do you know about them? Only what was extracted from the Geth's memory core. The Reapers were an ancient race of machines that wiped out the Proteans. Then they vanished. The Geth revered them. The Geth believe the Reapers are gods, and Saren is the prophet for their return. We think the Conduit is the key to bringing them back. Saren's searching for it. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Do we even know what this Conduit is? Not yet. Saren thinks he can bring back the Reapers. That's bad enough. Listen to what you're saying. Saren wants to bring back the machines that wiped out all life in the galaxy? Impossible. He it just wiped out Eden Prime. Where did the Reapers go? Why did they vanish? How come we found no trace of their existence? If they were real, we'd have found something. You doubted me before. I tried to warn you about Saren, and you refused to face the truth. Don't make the same mistake again. This is different. You proved Saren betrayed the Council. We all agree he's using the Geth to search for the Conduit, but we don't really know why. The Reapers are obviously just a myth, Commander. A convenient lie to cover Saren's true purpose. A legend he is using to bend the Geth to his will. Hmm. I've seen them. 50,000 years ago, the Reapers wiped out all galactic civilization. If Saren finds the Conduit, it will happen again. Saren is a rogue agent on the run for his life. He no longer has the rights or resources of a Spectre. The council has stripped him of his position. And he's still powerful. That is not good enough. You know he's hiding somewhere in the Traverse. Send your fleet in! A fleet cannot track down one man. A Citadel fleet could secure the entire region, keep the Geth from attacking any more of our colonies. Or it could trigger a war with the Terminus systems. We won't be this is already a war. confrontation over a few dozen human colonies. Send me. I can take Saren down. The commander's right. There is a way to stop Saren that doesn't require fleets or armies. No, it's too soon. Humanity is not ready for the responsibilities that come with joining the Spectres. It's the best solution. You don't have to send a fleet into the Traverse, and the Ambassador gets his human Spectre. Everybody's happy.
clickety click. Click your little data Commander pads. Shepherd, step forward. Off the platform. And all these diplomats are just standing around getting to watch. I find that amusing. It is the decision of the Council that you be granted all the powers and privileges of the Special Tactics and Reconnaissance Branch of the Citadel. Spectres are not trained, but chosen. Individuals forged in the fire of service and battle. Those whose actions elevate them above the rank and file. Spectres are an ideal, a symbol, the embodiment of courage, determination, Space CIA. and self-reliance. They are the right hand of the Council, instruments of our will. Spectres bear a great burden. They are protectors of galactic peace, both our first and last line of defense. The safety of the galaxy is theirs to uphold. You are the first human Spectre, Commander. This is a great accomplishment for you and your entire species. Thank you. I'm honored, Counselor. We're sending you into the Traverse after Sarah. He's a fugitive from justice, so you are authorized to use any means necessary to apprehend or eliminate him. Any leads? Any idea where to find him? We will forward any relevant files to Ambassador Udina. This meeting of the Council is adjourned. That went a lot better than last time. Congratulations, Commander. We've got a lot of work to do, Shepard. You're going to need a ship, a crew, supplies... Give me the Normandy. You'll get access to special equipment and training now. You should go down to the CSEC Academy and speak to the Spectre Requisitions Officer. Ooh, Spectre Anderson, dude. come with me. I'll need your help to set all this up. Ah, I can actually read my UI. It says I became a Spectre. I thought the Ambassador would be a little more grateful. He didn't even thank you. I don't blame him. Until I find Saren, I haven't done anything. Come on. Right behind you, Shepard. Spectre bonus! Spectre training talent unlocked! Spectre trading. And more charm! <gasps> more charm! More charm! <laughs> Spectre training. Elite agents of the Council, the Spectres have access to special training available elsewhere in the galaxy. Increases health, accuracy, and effectiveness of all attacks and powers. Grants unity. At least one there. I need to unlock my sniper rifle. Further unlock. First aid. And more diddly D. More for everyone. More for everyone. One there. We already have first aid on the one dude, Garrus. So I guess I'll pour you into dampening for now. All right. Now I can go to the academy and look for things. Now I'm a specter. Basically nothing has changed. Nothing really. And I'll take the normal walkabout in case I run into things. Maybe. Like that guy. But I wouldn't believe everything. I hope he's okay. I'm on a break. <laughs> Talk to someone else if you need anything. I've got a lot on my mind. What's wrong, my dude? Maybe I can help. I'm a specter. I can kill people. Mm. Maybe you can. You're a soldier, right? You ever head out to the Traverse? <laughs> I'm Commander Shepard. I'm not just some soldier. I'm a Spectre. A Spectre? I heard they were thinking about letting humans into the ranks. I didn't even say my about name time. when I clicked the I'm a Commander that Shepard. Means you can go anywhere you want, right? Even out into the Traverse? My brother's the captain of a ship called the Majesty. It was crossing the Traverse a few days ago when it disappeared just dropped right off the grid. And that usually means one of two things. They had massive mechanical failure, or they were attacked. Mm. Those are both bad. Neither one of those options leaves a lot of hope. I won't give up on my brother. Not yet. He's I've become a pirate, hasn't he? Transmission from his vessel. Brother's ship. What kind of ship was it? Don't let the name fool you. The Majesty's just a small trading vessel, only a handful of crew. But he kept it in good condition. 
I don't think mechanical failure is too likely. But they don't have any real weapons or shields. If anyone did come after them, the Majesty'd be a sitting duck. Hmm. Authorities. Isn't anyone else looking into this? My brother's just a small independent trader. Ships like his disappear in the Traverse all the time. I'll look for it, my man. If your brother's still alive, I'll find him. Give me the coordinates. I'll forward them to your ship right away. Please let me know as soon as you find him. I'll do what I can. More Paragon! More Paragon juice! Pour a Paragon juice down my throat! Yo, Rear Admiral. What's going on? I'm waiting to speak with one of the Counselor's assistants. I'm a Spectre Congratulations now. on becoming the first human Spectre, Commander. I'm certain you'll be up to the challenge. Thank you. I appreciate that. My name is Admiral Kahoku. Kahoku, it's about not time Haku. the Alliance got one of our own in with the Spectres. We need people like you to deal with our problems. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> problems. Is something wrong, Admiral? I'm getting stonewalled by bureaucratic assholes. <laughs> Nothing new. Maybe you can help me, Shepard. One of my recon teams was investigating some strange activity out in the Traverse. Everybody's we asking me about the Traverse. Yesterday. Now I can't get clearance to check it out. Suddenly it's a restricted area. But that doesn't apply to you, Shepard. Spectres can go anywhere they want. You could find out why my team dropped out of contact. Don't worry. I'll find them, Admiral. I appreciate that, Commander. I was running out of options. I'm gonna stay here and see if I can find anything out through official channels. Won't hold my breath, though. Ah, two-pronged attack. I'll upload the info on where my team was last seen to your ship. Maybe you can get some answers. <laughs> now that I'm a now that I'm a specter, I'm able to just go fuck the rules. I'm a specter. <laughs> Fly into the Trevors. A part of me kind of wants to look up like a list of side quests so I don't miss any especially because this is a three-part trilogy game that has everything carry over also I'm just gonna say uh, the reflections are starting to uh, distract me but now in other news exogenic corp is still denying reports that one of their survey teams has gone missing in the Hades gamma cluster huh when asked why communication with the survey team was suddenly cut off last week, company officials refused to comment. Assholes. So now we need to be on the lookout for anybody that we can talk to. Any odd things going on. Because... Sometimes they don't appear as waypoints on the map that I can just look at and be like, aha, thing. Like, I can't just do this, scan, and look for anything. No, I have to actually go. Luckily, there's a decent distance on the highlighter, so... Oh, for a moment I thought it locked onto that guy. But yeah, we, we need to go to the academy for requisitions. But I also want to walk around, talk to people do things. At the same time, they do kind of put like, quest people at places you're gonna pass by onto other places, so I'll quickly wander around this area, do things. But I'm just trying to find the best long-term Paragon route that I can without looking up guides. Fear me, I am the mighty Spectre, bro. I can't believe I landed a job here. This place is fantastic. And if I ever wanted to, I can probably just come on in and uh, game my way away at the Quasar tables if I wanted more money. Hello, Executor. I am a Spectre now. So they finally did it. I knew one of your kind would make Spectre one day. Uh, today is I that day. I only hope you're better than the one they're sending you after. I strive to be. I'll do everything I can to stop Saren. Hmm. That's what worries me. Was there something you wanted? Hmm. I'll be going now. Goodbye, Commander. Don't worry. I'll be a paragon of justice. This place seems strange. I wish there were more humans around. 
And the only other human that was here that isn't the bartender left after I talked to him. Hello, Commander. Can I get you something? Why not? What have you got? Information, mostly. Would you like to know about some points of interest nearby? I should go. Goodbye. So long, Commander. Have a pleasant day. The audio tracking when I spin around kind of batters my ears. But yeah, so far I'm loving this. I thought I was going to be like, oh, there's not much action. But now I'm like, yes, talk to people. Get my charm up. I should probably, eh, maybe, because it seems intimidation is purely renegade, which is kind of stupid. You can be a good person who's, like, intimidating people. Binary Helix has settled out of court with a Krogan group that had accused the Genetics Corporation of fraud. The Krogan group had contracted Binary Helix to perform studies with a long range... I still don't know, like, about that one. They hired the company to look in to a thing, but then didn't get the answer they wanted. How dare you not magically find the reason of this genetic nature. Obviously, it's because you're stealing from us. I am now a specter. I requisition everything. Give me Hello, nukes. Commander. I need supplies. Show me what you've got. Sounds good. Just let me set you up. <laughs> oh, this must be a mistake. System's telling me to offer you our select stock. Spectre? Well, I heard about that, but I didn't realize it was you. Sorry. <laughs> no problem. Just show me what you've got. I'll open the rare stock for you, Commander. Enjoy. It'll still be so... <laughs> 300,000! I am poor! I am the poorest man alive. My current armor is better than that. So, Hydra 3 level is... Hydra 3, worse than Scorpion 1. Quarian. I keep forgetting. Like, maybe this would be good for somebody. But it is so fucking expensive. Omnitool. Again, expensive. 575... Which is basically, would you like a seven? <laughs> Nine thousand for armor that is worse in two ways and slightly better in one. <laughs> Common, 142,000. I mean, stats don't lie, but 142,000... Common. These must be the Spectre stock. This is the <laughs> come back when you got money, asshole. Well, let's see. Journal. All right, UNC, UNC. Privateers. Asked you to look for his missing brother, missing Marines, and missing survey team. Oh, that actually got added. Neat. Meanwhile, my <laughs> Citadel exposed Saren. I thought I did that. And now I need to speak to the ambassador. Meet with him at the Alliance docking bay. Accessible through the central elevator. Uh, Alright, I'll, I'll do one last runabout of this place. See if there is anything. There doesn't seem to be... Well, I did want to look at the bank. So, take me to the financial district. And plus, oh yeah, I forgot. All of those prices, it's after my charm discounts. But we're going to talk to the bank guy. See if he has anything to say. I'm a specter now. Respect me. Greetings, Earth Clan. Me. I believe congratulations are in order, Commander Shepard. You are the first human to join the specters, yes? Thank you. It's a great honor. One you are no doubt ready for. A word of warning, though. There are many eyes watching you now, Commander. Some of them <laughs> want to see you fail. I, however, 
Wish you only success. Perform well and you bring the Earth Clan one step closer to joining the Council. And if they let your people in, maybe there is hope for my own species one day, yes? No problem, I, I should go. Goodbye, Commander. I'd still find it hilarious that I actually look behind me. Oh, person, Helena Blake. Got a moment, Spectre? Hello, Spectre. I have a business proposition for you. <laughs> Good for you. How do you know me? How did you know I'm a Spectre? Word travels. Your name comes up in certain circles. I'm acquainted with a pair of powerful crime bosses. They're hiding on remote worlds, and I have the coordinates. You could do the galaxy a favor. Hmm. Known crimes. What crimes did these men commit? They're red sand dealers who make victims of their customers. Those who can no longer pay are sold to Batarians as slaves. They're loathsome, hurting innocent people. They must be ended. Hmm. This is an obvious setup. I eliminate them, and then you take over and try to eliminate me. How stupid do I look? While I appreciate your estimation of my bravado, I have no intention of attempting to murder you. You are the first human Spectre, and you are doing important work for humanity. I have no interest in red sand or slavery. Anyone who does deserves to die. Our needs are aligned. Could charge you, but I wonder... I should have saved. I should have bloody saved. I could charge you. You're obviously with them. Why don't I just arrest you instead? Arrested for what? You and I are simply having a conversation. I have excellent legal representation. Arresting <laughs> me would be a waste of your time. All right. But what's your interest now, What in do this? you get out of this? We share interests in certain cooperative ventures, but their business practices have forced me to terminate our relationship. Once they are dead, I will manage our organization in a more tasteful manner. And defenses? What kind of defenses would these two have? I haven't the faintest idea, but they're certain to be armed. Their partnership soured, and each believes that the other intends to kill him. They will be well prepared. Well, I'll do it. If they're as bad as you say they are, they need to be dealt with. Excellent. Here are the coordinates. When these men are dead, I will wait for you at the third set of coordinates. Goodbye, Commander. It's been a pleasure to meet you. Renegade? Why did I get Renegade for that? I thought it would be another one like the thing is like, oh, well, no, I won't do it. Would just uh, be like, oh, then I can come back. Uh, I feel bad. I got Renegade. I got Renegade points. Why did I get Renegade points? I'm going Paragon. Ah. Oh, well. It hurts to have some renegade points. But I guess we'll just have to live with it. Especially because I didn't fucking save. Nope, to the self. Save before talking to anyone. Save before talking to anyone. Alright, take me to the med clinic. I'll walk around this place. With my two renegade points. Who knows? Maybe it's a fake out, and then there's a way to make more paragon through this venture. I need those supplies for my clinic. I can't. You can and you will, or your story won't stay secret for long. Don't disappoint me, Doctor. They sound like work. Oh, Commander Shepard, I didn't see you coming. You need some help? Every time I come in here, I see someone threatening you. Who was that? Someone from my past. I can take care of it. Hm. It's okay. I might be able to help you. I'm a paragon. I was fired by my previous employer for giving out free medical supplies to clinics like this. They never filed any charges. They just wanted me to leave without any fuss. 
But somebody must have found out. Now they are blackmailing me. I have to give them what they want. If the board finds out about my past, I could lose my license. They'll shut my clinic down. I can help. Maybe I can get you out of this. Tell me what they want. I have to give some of my medical supplies to a merchant in the markets. They expect delivery today. I'll help Give you. me your contact's name. I'll deal with this guy, whoever he is. Deal with him? But won't they expose my past? I'll be careful. I'll make sure they don't tell anyone. I was told to speak with a merchant named Morlan. Morlan. The markets. I, I really thought I trusted you. Thank you. Don't worry. I'll take care of this. Good luck, Commander. Be careful down there. Hopefully I won't have to kill him. But I won't hesitate either. And this is why I'm walking around. Then again, maybe this is a... Uh, since this is a hub area, I can come back whenever because I'm not sure how the thing works too much. Like, a part, like, what if I did help the guy uh, make his gambling tool? And what if that came out and, like, <laughs> comes about in, like, an, a f Mass Effect 2 or 3? And, like, super things happen. Why can I talk to you? Best place on this ward to buy upgrades. Welcome back, EarthClan. Will you be needing supplies for your return to the colonies? Yes. Show me what you've got. Most excellent. I am sure you... Metagel upgrade. I might... This is an upgrade. It's permanent gib. <laughs> that is my personal thing. I see thing that just instantly gives me a nice upgrade. It's small. But I just forgot I had. <laughs> you know, I said, I, in the future, I am going to save before I talk to anyone. And then I frickin' fail at that. More than, more than. Hello. Hello there. Welcome to Moreland's famous shop. You want many good supplies, yes? I'm here about Dr. M Michelle. Michael? You were expecting a delivery of medical supplies? But I was told the doctor would be bringing them. Things have changed, Moreland. A change, but the doctor. I don't. <laughs> this is not right, human. Shut up, Morlin. I told Baines you'd screw this up. What the hell's going on here? Who are you? A friend of Dr. Michelle. Leave the doctor alone. We can end this if you just bring me those supplies. Otherwise, I'll start telling people about the doctor's little secret. You should reconsider. You're shutting down a medical clinic. What if someone needs treatment? What if you need treatment? Hey, hold on. I'm just the middleman here. This is way more than I bargained for. <laughs> Thank you, human. It is good to see him humbled so. Who is Bane? What do you know about Bane? I have never met him, human. I only worked with the one who spoke with a doctor. Hmm. Well, I should go. Goodbye. Yes, all right then. Good tidings to you, human. So, we got a name out of the blackmailer. And thank you, Paragon. Even though I do have less combat encounters because I'm Paragon. That just means I get to do a, a renegade run. You know, maybe that's what I should do. After I play through a run of uh, all three Mass Effect games as Paragon, maybe I should do a renegade run. That way I can be like, Paragon till death, and then renegade for life. Now we can go, say, we dealt with the first thing, but the one behind it is Baines. We dealt with the blackmailer, but he's the middleman. Who's Baines? Commander, how did things go? As expected. He won't be bothering you anymore. Really? That's a great relief, Commander. Well, let's Thank ask you. about Baines. I can't pay you for your help, but I can give you a discount on any supplies you purchase here. Baines. The thug said he worked for a man named Bane. Sound familiar? Baines? I wonder if he means Armiston Baines. We worked together a long time ago. Who is he? Can you tell me about him? What kind Last of bastard is he? What is his flavor? I was contracting him for some research in the Traverse. Of course, everything. We should the follow Traverse. up with Captain Anderson. Good idea. We'll see what the captain can tell us. 
I wish I could tell you more. It's no Is there problem. anything else I can help you with, Commander? Well, let me take a look at your. While you, uh, yeah, let, let me take, take a look, look at, at what supplies. you have for sale. Of course. Three hundred and thirty-six thousand. Uh -huh. Microprocessors wired into the combat suit can monitor vital functions. And ba -ba -ba -ba. Accelerate the healing process plus one point five health regeneration a second. To two. Toxin resistance. So oh, that's going to be fun. I got metagel and stuff. So we have more of things to talk with. That's another reason why I kind of want to do everything here. Like, even though it's a, oh, maybe I should wait and do some of this stuff later. My brain instantly goes, yeah, but, you know, there's a lot of stuff in the Traverse. And I hope there's no, like, limit to where I can go. I hope that I can just, like, go about, do whatever I want. Wait, the, is this heading to the Flux? No, that's the Presidium. Flux is the other door. I'm dumb. I am a fool. I am a tool fool. Tofu. I hope that guy, Chillin was his name oh, doesn't like come back and shoot up the bar because I denied him. Let's see if there's anybody I can talk to. Bouncer? Hey, good to see another human. <laughs> hey, Dorn is breaking it down on the dance floor. Hell yeah. He has to be important. There's no way that there's just, oh yes, random patron, would you like to talk and be told? Yes, I'm just waiting for someone. He has to be part of a quest. Right. He has to be. Right. Well, I do kind of enjoy the mix of feeling, like, atmosphere the game gives off sometimes. Like, uh, some places give me kind of a Star Wars prequel atmosphere feeling, and not in a bad way. Mm. Because even then, I'm, I'd still defend the prequels. The prequels are fine. The directing is a little wonky. But overall, I would say that the prequels are fine. Especially after the uh, sequels came out. When the sequels came out, you were able to go and look, oh. So that's how bad things could have gotten. Well, let's see if we can walk around, talk to anybody. We destroyed, annihilated, just like everyone. Harkin. Hey, I know you. You're a bastard. Well, let's talk to the bastard. Go away. Let me let me drink in peace. Patron. I got business here, but not with you. Nah, it doesn't look like I'll be able to get access to his room again, because I was on timer. Oh no, I can go in. Ah, good thing. Wall safe. Easy decryption. Now nah, I'm gonna manual override. Recoil dampener and anti-personnel rounds. And experience and money. Ha ha ha. Suck it, fist. At least I was able to come back and grab things. But overall, a very odd place. And the music haunts you as you leave. Oh. Alright, there was just a ship flying by. Hope it's not out to kill me. I guess I'll walk down the alleyway, because you never know. There might be something in there. Weirdos! But after this, I don't think there's much else to look around for. Because we've, uh... Oh, there's a keeper down here. Yeah. 
Doesn't seem like anybody knew is about. Just lots of information of, hey, go here, do this, kill these people. Hostile takeover. High-ranking member of criminal cartels asks you to eliminate two of our unpleasant patrons. Their base is located on these after we meet Miss Blake in the for Forana. She'll probably b backstab me a bit, maybe. So yeah. Elsewhere. Elsewhere. Fan might appear. Elsewhere. 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 Just a lot of elsewheres. But... Oh yeah. And then also... Well, we want to talk to the captain anyway. Because... We want to talk In about news, Baines. The Chairman Burns of the Parliament Subcommittee on Transhuman Studies has been kidnapped by biotic extremists. Huh. The biotics commandeered a freighter and were last seen in the Hades Gamma Cluster. No demands have yet been made. Hopefully nothing is timed. That is the one thing that I beg of you, game. Do not have timed well you didn't go and do anything. Because I didn't expect there to be timed. I hate games that are like that. There is... The, the one game that I will forgive for having a ha-ha-ha, there is a time limit as you walk around and do things, is the first the Fallout game. The entire galaxy when they let the Geth break I'll talk after this. I hope your people are properly contrite, Tally. As the Turians are properly contrite for releasing the genophage upon the Krogan. You're assuming that sterilizing them was a mistake. Yeesh, harsh. But as I, as I was saying, uh, what was I saying? Yeah, the one game that I will forgive for having a time limit while you're going about doing things is Fallout 1. And that's for one main reason. Fallout 1 explicitly tells you there's a time limit, and it's the main quest. And I think you can't, well, no, there's technically two time limits, I think. There's the main time limit, and then you can finish that, but then there's still an overall time limit of uh, things happening. It's not a hard time limit after you fix the water chip, but it does lead to rocks fall, everybody dies if you don't go fast enough on everything else. So yeah. DVDD. But let's go talk to the captain. I think. Hopefully the captain's up here. Captain, where are you? I wonder if he'll be on the Normandy. Let's see. Journal. Yep, and we heard that. Let's see. Speak to the ambassador. Alliance Ducking Bay. I wonder where the captain is. Maybe... Travel... Sparta. So yeah, there's just a lot of things of go here, do that. And I hope that there isn't anything that'll stop me from going there and doing that. Although, the I kind of like the image in my head of, like, a space captain listening to, like, the radio. It's just like, this CEO has been kidnapped. He's just like, I'm gonna go save him right now. I just kind of love the idea. Wards, financial concert. Nah, I'll just go down. The diddly d. But yeah. I kind of like the idea that I'm above the law, so I can just listen to the radio. I hear that somebody's in trouble. I'm gonna go save them. All right, but let's head to the docking bay because I, I think this leads. I think this leads. Another profile in courage with serviceman Nirali Batia. We heard about this. Or we did the Batia thing. Serviceman Batia joined the Alliance military under the Deferred Education Plan. After finishing her service, Batia planned to open a restaurant. Instead, she gave her life protecting the colonists of Eden Prime. For more profiles in Courage, or to explore opportunities in the military, please visit the Alliance Military on the Extranet. Keyword, Keyword courage. courage. And then, accidentally, they all just end up on uh, pages for alcohol. The best kind of courage. So I don't think they're... Uh, we'll quickly walk around, make sure there's nothing back there. 
quest-wise. And then we'll head to the docking bay. Yo, any quests? You're always walking out of that room when I come by. I feel like you're haunting me. Hello, CSEC officer. Anything for me? Hello, Commander. That's Spectre to you, bitch. Slap. That's Renegade. I'm Paragon. Good to see you, Commander. I am the ultimate Paragon. I have thoughts of Renegade, and I say no. Be back, demon. I am a good man. I am Paragon. Click. Wow. Do not make clicky noises while I am here in my presence. Damn you. Quarians aren't too popular with Citadel security. They think we're all beggars and thieves. Ah, so you're this game's Khajiit. I knew I would like you from the moment I met you. Yep, now we're going to head to the docking bay because I have not found any other diddly -dees. Well, I guess we could take the diddly -dee down and talk to that guy one last time, see if he has anything new to say. Because why not? We're crazy. Your choice in armor is awfully limited, Tally. Couldn't you wear something without a helmet? No, nope. living in the clean environment of the flotilla has weakened our immune systems. The environmental suits protect against diseases. So your people are forever wandering, and now they couldn't settle if they wanted to. I'm sorry. See, Garrus can have a heart. He's not a total bastard. He's just ever so slightly insensitive from time to time. Hmm, extra net terminal. I thought I already got that, but I'm bad. Hey, Commander Shepard. Your Omni tools right there. Again. Anything you need? Hmm, Spectres. What do you know about the Just Spectres. the stuff they show in some of the other CSEC. But if they were so bad, the council wouldn't use them, right? Harkham. Do you know a CSEC? Eh, drinking on the job, taking bribes, that kind of thing. I have to go. Right. You're probably real busy. Well, see you around, Commander. Just want to make sure you had nothing else to say. All right, but well, we're going to head back to the academy so we can make it to the ducking bay. In entertainment news, Francis Kitt has announced <laughs> plans to direct Hamlet with Elcor cast members. The production will open dramatic theater to the, the Elcor first time I the heard Hamlet this, who uses Elcor body I thought they said Hamilton. <laughs> Kitt claims that he's also excited by giving a human audience the chance to judge Hamlet by his deeds and not his emotions. <laughs> Is it that? Now, do know, I am no expert on Hamlet. I don't think I've ever even seen or read the thing. But isn't the entire thing basically about emotions controlling Celebrations damnation? Celebrations being planned for the anniversary of the end of the Rachni Wars. Many council worlds, particularly Asari and Solarian colonies, will hold victory. Although I do, I have noticed something. We got all of our party members in one go. Ambassador, I probably should have saved. Oh, no. I've got big news for you, Shepard. Captain Anderson is stepping down as commanding officer of the Normandy. The ship is yours now. Yay. She's quick and quiet, and you know the crew. Perfect ship for a Spectre. Treat her well, Commander. I will. I'll take good care of her, sir. I know you will, Commander. Why are you doing this, I want this, the sir? truth. Why are you stepping down, sir? You needed your own ship. A Spectre can't answer to anyone but the Council. And it's time for me to step down. There's more to Come this. Come clean with me, Captain. You owe me that much. I was in your shoes 20 years ago, Shepard. They were considering me for the Spectres. What went wrong? What happened? I failed. I couldn't make the cut. It's not something I'm proud of. Ask me later and I'll tell you the whole story. For now, all you need to know is, I was sent on a mission with Saren, and he made sure the Council rejected me. I had my shot. It came and went. Now you have a chance to make up for my mistakes. You can count on me. I won't let you down, sir. Saren's gone. Don't even try to find him. But we know what he's after. The conduit. He's got us Geth scouring the Traverse looking for clues. We had reports of Geth in the Ferro system shortly before our colony there dropped out of contact. And there have been sightings around Noveria. Find out what Saren was after on Ferros and Noveria. Maybe you can figure out where the conduit is before he does. Is that anything it? else? We have one more lead. 
Matriarch Benezia, the other voice in that recording? She has a daughter, a scientist who specializes in the Protheans. We don't know if she's involved, but it might be a good idea to try and find her. See what she knows. Her name's Liara, Dr. Liara Tassoni. We have reports she was exploring an archaeological dig on one of the uncharted worlds in the Artemis Tau Cluster. Hmm. I'll start there. Sounds like we should head for the Artemis Tau Cluster. It's your decision, Commander. You're a specter now. Right, still you value your... Your, us. <laughs> your, your actions still reflect on humanity as a whole. You make a mess and I get stuck cleaning it up. I'll be careful. I'll try not to make things any harder on you, Ambassador. Glad to hear it, Commander. Remember, you were a human long before you were a specter. I have a meeting to get to. Captain Anderson can answer any questions you might have. The way he ended that sentence was weird. Yay, more Paragon! Yes, Commander? Hmm. Are you okay? How are you holding up? Honestly, this isn't how I pictured my career coming to an end. Pushing papers really isn't my thing. But you're the one who can stop, Sarah. I believe in you, Shepard. If that means I have to step aside, so be it. Hmm. Baines. What do you know about Armiston Baines? Where did you hear that name? Never mind, I don't want to know. <laughs> Baines is dead. Has been for quite some time. Hmm. That's strange. The people I spoke with seem to think he was still alive. It's not common knowledge. Military is keeping it under wraps. Baines was doing some high-level work for the Alliance. Stuff even I wasn't aware of. One day he turns up dead on a drifting scout ship. Everyone suspects it was foul play, but it was never officially investigated. Scout ship? What can you tell me about the ship? I don't know much about it. You should talk to Admiral Kohoku. One of his crews discovered Bane's body. I met him. I spoke to Kohoku. He never brought it up. You should mention Bane's the next time you see him. See if he'll tell you anything. Is there anything else, Commander? Hmm, Pharos. Any extra intel you can give me on our colony at Pharos? The entire planet used to be one giant Prothean city. Ah, mostly it, ruins. It now. is Star Wars. But some of the infrastructure is still intact. The colony tried to build on what the Protheans left behind. We lost all contact with them when the Geth attacked. Artemis Tau Cluster. What do you know cluster. about the Artemis Tau Cluster? Not much. I've never been there myself. A handful of systems with a few small, uncharted worlds, but no real colonies. Might not be easy finding Dr. Tassoni out there. My advice is to look for the world with the Prothean ruins. Novaria. What can you tell me about Novaria? Novaria's trouble. Always has been. The whole planet's basically a center for corporations to conduct illegal research. Watch your Man. back there, Chef. Sounds, sounds realistic. Specters are about the only form of citadel authority Novaria respects. But they aren't popular. And Kohaku. Where can I find Admiral Kohoku? Last I That heard, was a weird audio hitch. He was up in the tower trying to get the council to investigate Bane's death. Is there anything else, Commander? Investigate Bane's death? Go. He was up there I'll to here his missing him. people. Kind of weird that there isn't a transport DOA from the looks of it. So, down we go. Geras, if you do not mind me asking, how do you feel about hunting a Torian? Honor. Saren is either a traitor or a madman. Taking him down will restore the good name of Turians everywhere. Things are different among my people. There are so few of us. We are expected to be loyal, even when it is difficult. Time to go talk to Kohaku. Citadel Tower. And then we need to go down to the medical place again to tell the lady that Baines is dead. Was working for the Alliance. So somebody's no, using his I'm name. Waiting to speak. Commander, any luck finding my recon group? Baines. Captain Anderson said you had information on Baines. Not as much as I'd like to. One of my crews found him. Frozen stiff on board a derelict vessel. The missing recon group? The one I sent you to find? They were scouting the system we found Baines's ship in. Why didn't you tell me? You should have mentioned this earlier, Admiral. Baines is already dead. It's too late for him. I'm only concerned about my team. Someone has to find them. Please, Shepard. I'm counting on you. To be fair... It's, it is an important thing, purely because 
if anybody is like that might flavor what happened to your crew. If somebody is after your crew, oh, that's what CSEC is. Why is it there? It's right above the Presidium. Yeah, it's weird. All right. Talk to her, tell her about Baines, get more flavor text, maybe. Yes, Commander. Is there something I can do for you? Nope, can't do it. I'll anything. be going now. Goodbye, Commander. Nice talking to you. I thought I'd be able to talk to her about Baines. Tell her that he's dead. Apparently not. Well, if that's everything, wards, CSEC. In a further development in the Eden Prime investigation, the Council has reportedly revoked the Spectre status of one of its operatives. That While the fast. unnamed operative has not yet been apprehended, a Council spokesman confirmed that corrective actions had been taken. Corrective actions. Yeah, we hired a human and uh, sent him to go kill him. On to the Normandy. Ah, this is the airlock. Stand by, shore party. Decontamination in progress. I heard what happened to Captain Anderson. Survives a hundred battles and then gets taken down by backroom politics. Just watch your back, Commander. If things go bad on this mission, you're next on their chopping block. This feels wrong. Captain Anderson should be the one in charge. It's like I'm stealing the ship from him. Yeah, the captain got screwed. But it's not like you could have stopped it. Nobody's blaming you. Everyone on this ship's behind you, Commander. 100%. Even the intercom's you? open. You got anything you want to say to the crew? Now's the time. I need to be honest with them. This is Commander Shepard speaking. We have our orders. Find Saren before he finds the conduit. I won't lie to you, crew. This mission isn't going to be easy. Humanity must do its part. For too long, our species has stood apart from the others. Now it's time for us to step up and do our part for the rest of the galaxy. Time to show them what humans are made of. Eden was just a start. But no, Saren can't hide from us. Wherever Saren goes, we'll follow. Wherever he searches for the conduit, we'll be there. We will hunt him to the very ends of the galaxy and bring him down. We must not fail. Now, everyone's counting on us. Humanity needs to do this. Not just for our own sake, but for the sake of every other species in Citadel space. Saren must be stopped. And I promise you all, we will stop him. Well said, Commander. Captain will be proud. I won't let him down. The Captain gave up everything so I could have this chance. We can't fail. Yes, sir. Aha! Four Paragon! Inspiring speech! Through the power of speeches, I attain morality. <laughs> Navigator, anything to say? If anyone has to take over for Captain Anderson, I'm glad it's you. I'm not sure about having non-humans on our ship, though. They're on our side. Well, let's see. Aliens on the ship. Speak freely, Presley. I want to know if you have a problem with non-humans. It's not that, Commander. Humanity has always handled its own problems. Saren attacked one of our colonies. We should be the ones to stop him. We don't need their help. Never turn away trouble. Or turn, <laughs> turn away trouble. Come here, trouble. I'll take you on. Some people think asking for help is a sign of weakness. That's just being stupid and stubborn. No matter how strong you are, allies can make you stronger. I guess so. Maybe I'm just stuck in the old ways of thinking. But don't worry, Commander. This won't be a problem. Hmm. Personal question. How did you end up assigned to the Normandy? I signed up with the Alliance as a navigator right out of school. Following in my grandfather's footsteps, I guess. My first posting was on the Agincourt. We were one of the first reinforcements to arrive at Elysium after the Blitz hit. <laughs> Those raiders were no match for an Alliance frigate. Of course, the only reason the colony was still standing was because of you, Commander. I can't believe you held out as long as you did. Now you're here? How'd you end up on the Normandy? I got my officer's commission after Elysium. Must have made an impression on the right people. 
Captain asked for me when he was picking his crew. Neat. Well, goodbye. Carry on, Presley. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Captain. Oh, wait, that means the captain's room is mine. <laughs> FTL comlink. Faster than light communicado. Always save before talking to people. Oh, that's just... It's a codex! I don't know what's codex. I don't know what's real. I don't know what'll affect the future. Help me. With all the ones I'm seeing, I can only imagine that this place is going to get annihilated someday. Caden, how you holding up? This is kind of weird. Just Anything walk up to a guy. Hmm. Tactical appraisal. What's your opinion on the last mission? I don't see how we could have done things any better. At least not without getting to Eden Prime sooner. And we were on the scene faster than any other Alliance ship could have been. And now I'm looking for personal per input. Just trying to get a sense of where the crew's at. Thoughts? I've wasted enough of your time for now, Commander. We'll have time for personal debriefings later. All right. We'll Goodbye. talk another time, Lieutenant. Commander? Shepherd's Locker. Take off. I'm gonna become a hoarder, aren't I? Replenish Medigel. Doctor. Yes, Commander? Is there something you need? Kaiden Linko. How well do you know the lieutenant? I'd never worked with him before this mission. But he has an impressive service record. Oh, nope, we already went through that. Himself, though. Maybe because of the headache. I should go. Goodbye, Commander. It's just been so long that I didn't pick up that it was immediately uh, familiar. You know, I'm trying to think. <laughs> I wonder what will happen if I click on the sleep slip pod. Hopefully it's just codex, but of course, but we will save. Always save, Billy. Save yourself. Yep, just codex, but... Again, I don't know what's what, and I'm scared of reality. Wait, right, there's a little offshoot there. Oh, uh, it's just one of these. <laughs> yes, there is a little offshoot, just like this little offshoot. It looks bigger on the map. Such is the way of maps. Personal manual. And bed. This is a kind of a crappy bed. More codex. Uh, I guess wouldn't mind reading personnel. Personnel history summary. Oh, no. These are all secondary. Military jargon. <laughs> they actually talk about the actual jargon. All these nice little history things. Very interesting. Oh, I guess journal. Let's see. Find Leora. Novera. Pharos, Geth interest, Geth attack, so maybe head to Pharos. But then again, that's a main story thing. And again, I don't know. I'm going to quickly Google. Is there any time limits in Mass Effect 1? It might be cheating, but hey. Uh, you, can, you can never know with games. Like, I will always find it hilarious that uh, the one of the newer Duos X, I think it was the first newest Duos X, but... Uh, actually had a time limit where if you dicked around too much, people would die. But I don't like being caught unawares.
I just want to make sure I'm not caught unawares. So yep, it looks like I can do anything at any time right here. But I think I'll try to do a bunch of side quests. I'll head down, see if I can find some of my allies to talk to. Be a good captain. Well, commander, I guess. I am the commander. I am the shepherd. Let's see. Ashley's locker, what do you got? Hmm, so... Avengers... Apparently do more damage per second. Shotguns. Do you have a good shotgun? You're using a storm, which seems to be a pretty standard issue. Pistol. You have a pretty good pistol. I'll go ahead and take it from you for now. Thank you for your service. Sniper rifle. And yeah, just normal Avenger. And since they're just human, I won't take your armor. No need to worry. Okay. Let's see. Uh, normal Lancer. A normal Storm. I guess I'll go ahead and take your... Kessler as well. I'll give you an Avenger so I can give your diddly dee to someone. Garrus, you're going to be important to my work. Let's see. Less accuracy, but more damage in the same shot. It's kind of weird that that becomes yellow. I will give you an Avenger. Do not fail me. Well, with pistol, you can have a an edge for battle. Not going to give you any hammers because they seem like a waste to me. But I will give you a sniper, just in case. Well, actually, I'll have to see what my sniper is. Because I primarily use sniper. Another thing, let's see. Do I have any armor for you? Uh, armor, that's kind of bad. Overall. And then tally. You can have the other edge. Let's see, any armor? Nope. Figures. Ashley. Commander? How are we doing? What's your opinion on the last mission? I kind of wish you got there sooner, Commander. No offense, I appreciate the rescue. I just wish... <laughs> ...that we save your unit. I wish we'd been able to save the rest of your unit. Yes, sir. If I had been more alert, we wouldn't have been cut down by an ambush. <laughs> don't blame yourself. The Geth are perfect ambushers. They don't move, they don't make noise, they don't even breathe. Sir, they have flashlight heads. <laughs> I'll make sure it doesn't happen again. Dismissed, Chief. Sir. Garrus. Thanks for bringing me on board, Commander. No problem. I knew working with a Spectre would be better than life at CSAC. You knew? Have you worked with a Spectre before? Well, no, but I know what they're like. Spectres make their own rules. You're free to handle things your way. At CSEC, you're buried by rules. The damn bureaucrats are always on your back. True. Being a Spectre does have its advantages. Exactly my point. If I'm trying to take down a suspect, it shouldn't matter how I do it, as long as I do it. And but CSEC wants it done their way. Protocol and procedure come first. That's why I left. <laughs> that was your reason? So you just quit because you didn't like the way they do things? There's more to it than that. It didn't start out bad, but as I rose in ranks, I got saddled with more and more red tape. Hmm. CSEC's handling of Saren was typical. I just couldn't take it anymore. It's a tough decision. I hope you made the right choice. I'd hate for you to regret it later. Well, that's sort of why I teamed up with you. 
It's a chance for me to get off the Citadel, see how things are done outside CSEC. I hope to be a positive influence. Either way, I plan to make the most of this. And without CSEC headquarters looking over my shoulder, well, maybe I can get the job done my way for a change. Oops. Hmm. Probably should have saved before I talked to you. I trust your judgment, I guess. Sounds good to me. As long as you do your job well, you're free to go about your business as you see fit. Thank you, Commander. Note to self, save more. Conversations are quite important. Conversations are very, very important. Whoosh. Engineer Adams. Hey, Commander, you know that Quarian Tally? She's been spending all her time down here asking me about our engines. Is she bothering you? I'll tell her to leave you alone. What? No, she's <laughs> amazing. I wish my guys were half as smart as she is. Give her a month on board and she'll know more about our engines than I do. She's got a real knack for technology, that one. I can see why you wanted her to come along. She's useful. I figured she'd be a real asset to the team. You got an eye for talent, Commander, but I'm guessing that's not why you came down here. Stealth system. Fill me in on the IES stealth system. How does it work exactly? if I'm going to command this ship? You can't hide a ship. I'm space. going to want to know everything about it. Too easy for sensors to pick them up, unless you find a way to capture those emissions. So our stealth systems trap the energy we give off in storage sinks built into the ship itself, with no emissions to give away our location. Eventually, the sinks have to be vented. More than a few hours silent running, and they overheat. Cook us inside our own hull. So we're invisible. There's no way for anyone to detect us? A visual scan can still pick us up. Anyone looking out a window can see us plain <laughs> as day. But you have to be pretty close to get an actual visual out in space. Most vessels rely on scanners. As long as the stealth systems are engaged, they can't see us. Not unless we accelerate to FTL speeds. FTL gives us away? Why doesn't it work with faster than light travel? Cranking up the FTL, blue shifts our emissions, pushes them into frequencies too high to capture in the sinks. As soon as we make the jump, it's like setting off a flare. Sensors can pick up our location whenever we enter or exit FTL flight, but for short-range missions, our stealth systems are amazing, and we've got the only one. All right, Normandy. I want to know more about the Normandy. She's the best ship I've ever served on, probably the fastest vessel ever designed. She's the only one using the new Tantalus Drive Core. Drive Core? What's so special about the Tantalus Drive Core? Proportionally, it's about twice the size of any other vessel. Not only are we faster, but we can run at FTL speeds longer before we have to discharge the core. I guess personal questions. Where else have you served, Adams? You name a class of Alliance ship, I've probably served on it. Everything from dreadnoughts and carriers right down to frigates like the Normandy. My last assignment was on the Tokyo. Only a cruiser, but she was a good ship. Couldn't hold a candle to the Normandy, though. Carry on, Adams. Aye, aye, Commander. Hello, Tally. Your ship's amazing, Shepard. I've never seen a drive core like this before. I can't believe you were able to fit it into a ship this small. Lovely technology. I'm starting to understand why you humans have been so successful. I had no idea Alliance vessels were so advanced. The ship's special. The Normandy's a prototype. Cutting edge technology. A month ago, I was patching a makeshift fuel line into a converted tug ship in the flotilla. Now, I'm sitting on board one of the most advanced vessels in Citadel space. I have to thank you again for bringing me along. Traveling on a vessel like this is a dream come true for me. <laughs> You're into ships? I had no idea you found ship technology so interesting. It comes with being a Quarian. The migrant fleet is the key to the survival of my people. Ships are our most valuable resource. Yeah, that makes sense. But we don't have anything like this. We make do with cast-offs and second-hand equipment. We just try to keep them running for as long as we can. Sounds harsh. Some of the fleet's larger vessels date all the way back to our original flight from the Geth. That was 300 years ago. I can't believe your fleet's still using ships that are three centuries old. They're constantly being repaired, modified, and refitted. They aren't pretty, but they work. Mostly. We've tried yeah, if they to make work, ourselves as independent as possible on the flotilla. Grow our own food, mine, and process our own fuel. But some Must take a lot of we work. just can't make on our own. A patch to maintain the hull integrity requires raw materials we just don't have. That's why our pilgrimages are so important. 
Quarians. Tell me about your people. Our lives aren't easy. Resources are scarce, and we are constantly on the move. Everything we do must in some way contribute to the continuation of the migrant fleet. There are 17 million Quarians in the flotilla, and each of us relies on the others for survival. The bonds among my people are strong. Sounds like it. We have had to surrender many of the freedoms and civil liberties other species take for granted. Like what? What kind of freedoms? Well, it's illegal for parents to have more than one child. If our population grows too much, it would strain our resources to their breaking point. Of A course, sad reality, we also I can't suppose. allow our numbers to become too few. If our population is in decline, the rule against single births is temporarily repealed. In extreme cases of population decline, incentives are even offered to encourage multiple births. Though the Conclave hasn't had to take such measures in nearly a century. A Conclave? That's your government. Uh, ruling class. The Conclave is our civilian branch of government. Each yeah. ship can elect a representative to serve on the Conclave and make decisions that affect the fleet as a whole. On matters that affect an individual ship, however, the captain has the final say. It's a tradition that dates back to the early days, when the fleet was governed by martial law. So you never escaped the martial most law. most captains nowadays are smart enough to have an elected council from their crew to give them advice and guidance. Hmm. You're democratic. So the ultimate power rests with elected officials. In practice, uh. the Conclave and the respective council for each ship tend to set the rules that govern our daily lives. But in theory, we are still under military jurisdiction. The five top-ranking military officials in the fleet serve on the Admiralty Board. These five have the power to overrule any decision by the Conclave in case of emergency. And they can just make an emergency so someday, probably. unanimous agreement among the Admiralty. Ah. And they can only do this once. After that, the entire board must resign their posts. It's a safeguard that served us well. In nearly three centuries, the Admiralty Board has only overruled the Conclave. And each time they times. actually gave up their... <laughs> well, if they actually do resign afterwards, I suppose it's all right. Mm, pilgrimage. I want to know more about the pilgrimage. When my people reach maturity, we leave our birth ships and seek acceptance with a Give new Give me king. lore. It's necessary I like to listening to lore. Reading the lore in the Codex is a little bit... Eh, but no me. ship wants to accept someone who will be a burden on them. So, to prove our worth, we embark on a pilgrimage. We set out alone, leaving the flotilla and our families behind us. We only return once we have found something of value we can bring back to the fleet. This is presented as a gift to the captain of the respective ship we wish to join. If the gift is accepted, we are welcomed into the crew. Hmm. Sounds dangerous. I can't believe they just send you off alone. It's not like they just cast us out. Before we leave, we are given lessons in how to survive outside the flotilla, and given gifts to help us on our journey. So at least they do we try. We also receive implants to fight off sickness and disease. Generations of living in an isolated and highly controlled environment have left our immune systems weaker than most. And it's a spiral. By the time they we live in a the fleet, closed off well place. So they have to continue living there, lest they just die. If it were dangerous, our numbers would suffer. Oh, that's true. Virtually every pilgrimage ends with a triumphant return and the ritual presentation of the gift to one of the fleet's captains. <laughs> Do they always accept? Can a captain choose to reject the gift? Uh, that doesn't happen often. Most captains are eager to increase the size of their crew. It increases their own standing in our society. Even when a gift is not particularly valuable, the captain usually accepts it out of a sense of tradition. However, there is a stigma to presenting a substandard gift. It's not the best way to make a good impression on a new community. Most pilgrims don't return until they find something worthwhile. Let's just talk. I want to talk about something else. Like what? What about the gift? I want to know more about the gift. I doubt I can tell you anything you don't already know. It's been almost three centuries since they drove my people into exile. All I know is the story of their origins. What they were when we created them, and how they turned on us. Tell me. The more we know, the better. <laughs> Interesting. The Geth were originally I love... This is like Fallout 4 all over again for me. <laughs> 
Initially, their intelligence was as limited as any VI. Over time, we made small modifications to their programming to allow them to perform more varied and complex tasks, bringing them closer and closer to true AI status. Hmm. Isn't AI research illegal? How come the council didn't step in and stop you? Or did the guests this wasn't make true it? <laughs> AI research. We may have been skirting the bounds of the law, but we never did anything that was actually illegal. The guests did that. <laughs> the changes were so insignificant, so gradual, that we were able to control them. Or so we thought. But one thing we underestimated was the power of the neural network. A million geth thinking simultaneously created an inherently unstable matrix. The neural network. So the geth share brain power? Many of the Geth's logic systems were designed to work in concert with other nearby Geth. Basically, the more of them you have in a group, the smarter they are. Like a hive So there's some sort of group consciousness. No, nothing like that. <laughs> they cannot share sensory data or information. Their programming cannot handle that much simultaneous input. Each Geth maintains an individual awareness and identity. The Eesh. neural network only operates on a process-based level. It's basically the synthetic equivalent of a subconscious. But when they're in close proximity, they can coordinate low-level functional processes, freeing up more capacity for original or independent thought. Hmm. Why do they turn on you? What made them rebel? As we built more and more Geth, their effective intelligence became more sophisticated, more abstract. They became, day, a Geth became fans of modern art. Overseer questions about the nature of its existence. Am I alive? Why am I here? What is my purpose? To spread As butter. As you can imagine, this caused a near panic among my people. Hmm. What happened next? What did you do? It was inevitable the newly sentient Geth would rebel against their situation. We knew they would rise up against us, so we acted first. Uh. A general order went out across all Quarian controlled systems to permanently deactivate all Geth. The Geth responded to this order violently. They defended themselves. You can't blame them for fighting for their survival. We had no other choice. The Geth were already on the verge of revolution. By acting quickly, we had a chance to end the war before it began. The hope was that most of the Geth would still be little more than machines, incapable of organized resistance. But they had progressed much further than anyone anticipated. The war was long and bloody. Millions upon millions of Quarians died at their hands. In the end, we were forced to flee our own homeworld. That sucks. We feared the Geth would pursue us, but they never came beyond the Veil. Now, we drift through space. Exiled, searching for a way to reclaim what was once ours. <laughs> well, goodbye. I should go. See you later. Definitely interesting. On the one hand, if you see the writing on the wall, oh no, robot uprising, I can understand why you'd be a little bit more jumpy than most. But at the same time, they were just defending themselves to a degree. Eh, maybe I should go talk to Rex. I don't know. He, he scares me a little bit. I'm scared of my big, angry, mercenary boy. I'll go talk to him. Like a scared father to a giant, angry son. Who is literally a ball of flaming gas. Nice ship you've got, Shepard. Don't try what to eat I it. Do for you? Personal inquiry. What's your story, Rex? There's no story. Go ask the Quarian if you want stories. Heh, <laughs> just a short one. You Krogan live for centuries. Don't tell me you haven't had a few interesting adventures. Well, there was this <laughs> one time the Turians almost wiped out our entire race. That was fun. <laughs> That's unfortunate. I heard about that. You know, they almost did the same to us. It's not the same. It isn't? Seems pretty much the same to me. So your people were infected with a genetic mutation? An infection that makes only a few in a thousand children survive birth? Yeesh. And I suppose it's destroying your entire species? 
I see your I point. Suppose it isn't all the same. I don't expect you to understand, but don't compare humanity's fate with the Krogan. <laughs> I won't. Sorry, Rex. I wasn't trying to get you upset. Your ignorance doesn't upset me, Shepard. As for the Krogan, I gave up on them long ago. The genophage infected us, but it's not what's killing us. <laughs> genophage. What can you tell me about the genophage? Ask the Salarians if you want details. They made it. All I know, it makes breeding nearly impossible. Thousands die in stillbirth, and most never get that far. Every Krogan is infected, every one. And no one's rushing to find a cure. That's gonna be a plot point sometime, isn't it? An uninfected Krogan line. Why don't the Krogan try to find a cure? When was the last time you saw a Krogan scientist? Fair enough. But ask a Krogan. Would he rather find a cure for the genophage or fight for credits? He'll choose fighting every time. It's just who we are, Shepard. I can't change that. Nobody can. And extinction. Are your people really dying? We're sure not getting any stronger. We're too spread out. None of us are interested in staying in our own system. <laughs> so? Lots of species have left their homes and prospered. Yeah, but most of them aren't but affected by genophage. New worlds. Ah. We're not settlers. We're warriors. We want to fight. So we leave. Hire ourselves out. And most of us never go back. I see. So long, Rex. Shepard. Alright, he seems pretty chill. You know, when he's not shooting a guy that we were just talking to, because it's like, no, oh, it's my mission, I'm gonna do it. <laughs> don't worry, that was my last mission for the broker, so you don't have to worry about me doing it again. See, it's good to talk to people that scare you in video games. I'll go talk to Joker, make sure everything's ship shape, and then we'll head somewhere. I think we're gonna go head after Baines. And of course, save before talking. Did I do that with uh, my boy? I don't think I did. Uh, fear. Commander, something you need? Ship status report. How's the Normandy performing? Is she everything they said she'd be? She's the best ship in the fleet, if you've got a pilot who knows how to handle her. Balance isn't what you'd expect. Takes a while to get used to that oversized drive core we got stuffed in the back, and her power can sneak up on you if you're not careful. The Normandy's probably too much ship for your average Alliance pilot, Commander. Lucky for you, I'm anything but average. All right. Just I'd like talk. to know my crew. Mind if I ask you a few questions? <laughs> I can see where this is going. You did a background check on <laughs> me, didn't you? Well, I'll tell you the same thing I told the captain. You want me as your pilot. I'm not good. I'm not even great. I am the best damn helmsman in the Alliance fleet. Look at his funky smile. Top of my class smile. in flight school, I earned that. All those commendations in my file, I earned every single one. Those weren't given to me as charity for my disease. What disease? What are you talking about? Are you sick? You mean... You mean you didn't know? <laughs> oh, crap. Ah, crap. Okay, I've got Vrolic syndrome. Brittle bone disease. Oh. The bones in my legs never develop properly. They're basically my hollow. Boy. Too much force and they'll shatter. Even with crutches and my leg braces, it's hard to get around. One wrong step and crack! Very dramatic, but I've learned to manage my His lower body isn't better. moving. Put the Normandy in my hands and I'll make her dance for you. Just don't ask me to get up and dance <laughs> unless, you know, you like the sound of snapping shin bones. How'd you get your nickname? Why does everyone call you Joker? It's a lot shorter than saying Alliance Flight Lieutenant Jeff Moreau. Plus, I love to make little children laugh. <laughs> That's no answer. You're dodging the question. Look, I didn't pick the name. One of the instructors in flight school used to bug me about never smiling. She started calling me Joker, mm, and it stuck. Were you unhappy? Why didn't you ever smile? Hey, I worked my ass off in flight school, Commander. <laughs> the world's not gonna hand you anything if you go around grinning like an idiot. By the end of the year, I was the best pilot in the academy. Even better than the instructors, and everybody knew it. They'd all got their asses kicked by the sickly kid with the creaky little legs. One guess who was smiling at graduation. <laughs> 
Tell me about your disease. I need to know more about this Brolic syndrome if I'm putting my ship in your hands. Yeah, of course you do. It's an extremely rare condition. Nobody knows exactly what causes it. Genetic, maybe. It's treatable, but there's no cure. They classify my case as moderate to severe. I was born with over a dozen fractures. Hip, thighs, ankles, my bones were already breaking in the womb. A hundred years ago, I wouldn't have survived past my first year. Lucky for me, modern medical science has turned me into a productive member of society. How do you do your job? You're not going to break a bone trying to fly the ship, are you? Uh, I don't fly with my feet, Commander. So I'm <laughs> fine as long as I'm in this chair. I gotta be real careful when I get up to take a piss, though. I like Joker. I can do my job as well as anyone on the ship. Better, actually. So don't worry about it. Let's I'm not trying topics. to make you uncomfortable. Let's talk about something else. Whatever you want, Commander. And, uh... Well, I guess that's it. Goodbye. I have to go. Alright, see ya. So far, I'm really liking the, the look of the crew. I'm saying that the crew is pretty ship shape. Except for all the nameless, faceless people. But, before we go, I do believe that that will be it for now. We've been going for about three hours now. So we spent like six hours just wandering around the Citadel and not doing the main game. <laughs> yeah, that sounds about right. But uh, I think this is a good stopping point. It means that we have uh, plenty to do next time. We're able to actually go and do uh, side quests and main quests out there on alien worlds. Not just walk around the same citadel that we did all this time. Granted, I was a bit, yes, give me all, ah, do quests. <laughs> but next time, we'll be able to do the same thing, but in new locations, which is all very nice. And we'll be able to take our team out into the world, which is still some interesting. I guess I'll give my kind of preliminary thoughts after going this long into the game, getting to the first real beginning. It's kind of interesting that we're getting all of our teammates, like, in one go. Just do the side quests on the Citadel and you gather them all up. Mm, I don't know why. In Knights of the Old Republic, you gather your team a little bit slowly, going from planet to planet, ever so slightly. It felt it took longer to get them. Especially the robot, I forget his name, because his name is like, num uh, letter, letter, number, number. And, uh, you actually had to do a side quest on a different planet to get him. And that was before the, the game kind of broke, and I had to find weird workarounds to do the sand people quests. Because there was a weird glitch, and I had to look it up, and just like, oh yeah, you need to go all the way back. And I had like, one save one save that was hours back to actually fix that glitch pain but hey it worked but hopefully we don't run into that so far the only glitch we've run into on mass effect was oh i'm on eden prime and suddenly the sound is gone <laughs> but only when i'm on eden P prime may uh, when i open the menu it was good it was fine but yeah i do believe a assassination will only appear in the tactics hut for squad members armed with sniper rifles <laughs> who would not be armed with sniper rifles. It's crazy. But yeah, so far, really liking the game. We've only been in combat a few times, and I usually just like, okay, sniper rifle. I don't even get into cover. I'm just like, sniper rifle. Just begin shooting now. Gun them down. Actually, speaking of that, let me see if I have any sniper rifles that I might want to upgrade to. Hammers, no. Avenger, bad. Reaper. Uh, is what I have. Any armor? Is that care? No. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. I, just in case I didn't save, I'll save again. Because I'm paranoid and my memory is shot when it comes to these little things. But yes, but yes, but yes. That will be it for now. Next time, we'll do some of the side quests. Like, I don't know. We could do the uh, Geth attack in Pharos, but I think we'll go after the missing survey team and missing, like, we'll do these side quests some and see what we can do. We'll just go through, do some things, do some exploring before we move on to the main quest some. But that will be next time. For now, I do believe that will be it for now. 
Well, yes, thank you very much for watching. I've been Neon Icy Wings. If you liked what you saw, I have uh, other places you can follow me if you really want more from me. Like my main YouTube channel, Neon Icy Wings, where I post edited content. I will try to post some little edited thought pieces every now and then in the future. Small tasks, but still. Mm. And uh, there's also an archive channel where these streams get uh, uploaded to as kind of like posterity and archival called Neon Icy Games. And if you're one of those people that are watching this here on Neon Icy Games, you can watch me play these games live at Neon Icy Wings on twitch.tv slash Neon Icy Wings. I said it out of order. Eh. And if you want even more from me, I also try to do art every now and then, and I post them to... Uh, Twitter, Tumblr, Newgrounds, and DeviantArt. But yes, but yes, but yes, thank you very much for watching. I hope to see you dudes next time. Bye bye. Oh, I hit the wrong button.